Several teams are eyeing that top spot on the leaderboard at the Home Hardware Canada Cup. The goal now, clinch first place and abide a Sunday's final. What a shot for Brad Jacobs! Holy. What a start! At 3-1, and one, Brad Jacobs aims to be in Ottawa. A couple of wins today will certainly get him a lot closer. Playing in his home province, Reed Carruthers has the home crowd behind him, and his team also has a chance at the playoffs. With a trial berth on the line, who will make their move on this final day of round robin? Draw eight, Brandon, next. We've already had a good dusting of snow. More flurries are in the forecast. Temperature just below freezing around minus two here in Brandon at the Keystone Center. Let's uh, bring you up to date on what happened this morning in draw seven. It was Brad Guju, of course, with Mark Nichols uh, throwing the skip stones. But Charlie Thomas, who's coming to throw the third rocks, comes through with a beauty. As they go on to the win over Kevin Cooey, all four players on that team curled in the 90s. Other scores, Steve Laycox, hands Reed Crothers a loss to keep himself alive. Chelsea Carey is alive after a win over Tracy Fleury. And Rachel Holman, the defending Canada Cup champion, wins over Val Sweeting. So taking a look at the standings on the men's side, Guju with that win goes to the top of the table. Kevin Cooey would think the reigning Canadian world champion is done now. He's at one and four. And Jennifer Jones leads the women's side with four straight wins. As on this Friday afternoon, we say hello, Canada. Welcome back to Brandon, our continuing coverage of the Canada Cup. Cheryl Russ alongside. Well, he was the gold medal winner in Sochi, Brad Jacobs out of Sault Ste. Marie, and he got off to a great start when it all began on a Wednesday morning, picked up a terrific win. And, you know, Russ, you would think after having won the gold in Sochi, he'd go, okay, I've done that, been there. But, boy, he seems to be as dedicated and as hungry as ever. Well, and hungry, just look at the reaction here when he makes this thin double to uh, win his first one. They want it, Vic, and everybody out here, anybody that's ever been competitive at all wants to be an Olympian, to be called an Olympian, to get to the Olympic show. That's what it's all about. If you're lucky enough to be this guy and this team and have been to an Olympics, they can taste it right now, Beck. And what I see in this team right now, they're ramping it up, and it's that Olympic intensity is starting to show up. Last night, it was an all-Manitoba men's battle with uh, Reed Carruthers against Mike McHugh. And, and Carruthers, of course, former champion of Manitoba. Interestingly enough, makes a wonderful shot here as he went on to the win. The difficulty for him is still consistency. They're like that little girl with the curl. They're good, they're bad, and he's still learning how to be a skip and a leader. He is, and I think that is a sign of a championship team. You're always learning, learning from your losses, learning from the misses. As they say, you never lose. You either win or you learn, and it's showing for this Carruthers team. They've improved. They're third on tour this year. Their stats are better, and their performance is showing up here at this event. When we come back on this final day of round robin, Jacobs Carruthers from the Keystone Center When I first put this team together, I knew it was going to be a process to get to where we are. Our biggest goal is to get to the Olympics. So for us, you know, to be a legit top three, four team in the world is something that we're definitely happy with, but we want to get better. We're really driven, and because we haven't had the past two seasons that we've wanted to, that's what's driving us to be even more hungry, uh, work even harder, and we're still a team ready to go out there and do what we can in order to be the best every game. The 2016 Home Hardware Canada Cup of Curling is brought to you by Home Hardware. Homeowners helping homeowners with expert advice. The 2016 Home Hardware Canada Cup of Curling is brought to you by Cashmere Bathroom Tissue. Nothing feels like cashmere. By Tim Hortons, official coffee of Curling Canada. And by Ford of Canada, proud partner with Curling Canada for 22 years. It's a very short round robin. You can't afford too many losses too quickly. We're going to sort it out all today. It's the final day round robin play. Time to meet the teams now. It's brought to you by Home Hardware. Homeowners helping homeowners with expert advice. Hi, I'm Skip Brad Jacobs. Our lead is Ryan Harnden. Our second is EJ Harnden. Our third is Ryan Fry. And we curl out of the Community First Curling Center in Sault Ste. Marie. 
Hi there, I'm Skip Reed Carruthers. My lead is Colin Hodgson. My second is Derek Samigalski. My third is Braden Muscoe. And we curl out of the West St. Paul Curling Club in West St. Paul, Manitoba. Brad Jacobs has already taken his position up, put the brush down T line just outside the eight foot. He will play the red stones. Reed Carruthers winning the draw to the just button, wait, so he will have the last draw. He has the hammer playing the yellow stones here in the first and getting us underway. The Jacobs lead is Ryan Hart. Nice and tight. Line's perfect. Line's perfect. Perfect line. Should be a really good one. It'll be interesting to see how fast uh, Reed Crothers bounces back. He he missed a pretty makeable shot for uh, his skill set. Uh, Wrong to that basically full eight foot to uh, tie the game. And not that he would have won in an extra inning, he would have to steal, but uh, those are always tough. It makes uh, lunch good. a little tougher to digest. And uh, I'm sure Reedy will get over good. in a hurry, but uh, he better. But it's interesting. I mean, there was a two point difference 5 3 Laycock winning this morning, and the winning points were both stolen points. That's right. Yeah, exactly. And uh, just a lot of draws being missed out here. I think the advantage when you look at the back end of these two teams is, uh, well, Reed especially, his draw percentage, 85%. Uh, Braden's 84%, as opposed to Brad and Ryan, who are 73 and 78. Mm, so that might be where you see the advantage, as long as Reed, as you said, can recover from that missed draw rub, last game. Clean, clean, rub. Rub, clean. Interesting yep. though, isn't it, uh, rub, Russ? Rub. There's Jacobs. What is he? He doesn't go in. He says, "I want to play with you right Line now." Up. So he throws up the center guard yeah, right away. Yeah, they're, uh, their advantage, I think, or at least they think they think, uh, is is that hitting game and controlling the front and throwing the bullets. And uh, so they're not afraid to have a couple out in front, especially if it's their color that they can run it in later. Okay, let's take a look at the keys to the game. We'll start with Brad Jacobs. Well, it's simply that, usable rocks. That's exactly what we're talking about. That red rock, that guard is a tight guard right now in the first end. And you're going to see Fry or Jacobs run that in at some point in time. That's their skill set. And Fry himself, he's starting to fry 87% in his last two games. His first two games were terrible. The last two, 87. Look out for Fry. Wait, it's okay. Line's okay if you're the bounce. Top four. Can't yet. Don't want to. Can't. Get ready, Braden. Just wait. Don't wait. Don't wait. All these teams get it, they all know it, but both those reds are very usable for uh, Jacobs. And for Reed Carruthers. Well, it's going to be about what we've seen the best teams do out here is communicate about the pass for draw. You look at the best front ends and they are sharing information with their back end about how many rocks have been down there and that's allowing them to make some great draw shots and stay present as you get closer to that uh, final and you start to think about maybe winning and getting a chance to be in the trials. You start to think about outcome and you're not thinking about process, so continue to do what got you here. Keys to the game are brought to you by World Financial Group, helping Canadians have better financial futures. Sink it under there. Get rolled dead buried. Line three. I'll have to whip this. Oh, yeah, Half rock! Good. Am I All killing the shooter? Takes yeah. in a, in a uh, series of freezes to get one in the wrong spot, Cheryl. I, I think they could sit as many as three here. I agree. Just yeah. high side that red. You might lose one of them, but even if you make the yellow, take the red out off the forefoot, you're sitting too buried. Whoa! 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 I go upwards. Wow, that's a mistake. A <laughs> bomb. Yeah. It was big weight. I just said that's why we throw normal. Play normal. It's well, Dan Carey has joined the Crothers team as a, a coach, the '92 Canadian champion, Manitoba Curling Hall of Famer. As we say good uh, afternoon, Kathy Gauthier. He has brought a little bit of uh, inside knowledge because he knows this building very well. Oh. Well, he does so many provincial championships with the late, great Vic Peters for Dan Carey. And he reminded me before the game when I asked him, why are the skips missing deep? What is it in the last draw? We saw two go long. And he reminded me that when he played in this building, the floor at the home end is lower. We're not talking a big white here, but we are talking a slope. So I took that information to Greg Owasco, the ice tech, and he said it is very true with the floor, but they flood to level. 
They also find that the temperature is the same at both ends. So in theory, it should be equal. But when you see the percentages going deep, you do have to wonder if there is some truth that it might be a little bit quicker coming home. And as to this game, he reminded them at the meeting that they went into today knowing that one and one could get them something and that nothing has changed. It's, um, it is interesting to note that it is sloped towards where all of us are sitting. Yeah. Eh? I just want you to know that, that it's just Kathy is suggesting that maybe we are sloping <laughs> the <laughs> yeah. floor. Time to ride the bike, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Isn't that funny though? But I've heard that I in other places. Yeah, well, for I sure. know they do. They bring out the lasers now, but it just may be yeah. something. It's and obviously the ice will flood the level eventually. You put enough water on, but uh, to Kathy's point, what tends to happen if there's much more surface at one end, it's hard to keep the top of it the same temperature. It gets a little warmer, gets a little greasier, therefore faster. Brothers is sitting the two, and he does have the last rock here in this first. Corner guard is up, covering the edge of the eight. That belongs to Jacobs. We're playing third stones here in the first. We already know that the the Guju team is into the uh, playoffs. Only three teams will make it. A little bit out of the uh, field of seven. A win by Jacobs would put him in, and a win by Laycock over John Epping would clinch a spot for the team from the Nutana in Saskatoon. Mine's good. Top 12. Never, never, Can we get it in or no? never. Just don't touch it, don't touch get it. it in. Bite no. it. No, no. Yes. Bite it. In. Left it open. Yeah, they were caught in between Shot there. They wanted it to stop to keep protection on the double. But once they realized the it was curling, right. they could have brushed it in and huh? at least put it in the rings and it was Can't. right in between. It's, I don't know. What is it, quarter? I guess he's probably got to split if I do that anyway, does, right? Yeah. And if you hold and if but you stick is, that, then he's split into lay three. What's that? And if you stick this over here, yeah. behind the, no, run right. that. The double would have to be made Even by you losing your throne here, rock. And then well, Crothers could hard. split that top one for two, and there again is that word, usable rock. It wasn't where they wanted it, but it was a great miss. Whereas I think if you're looking at this from a club standpoint, you're just you're ignoring that center rock. You're going after the double. You are, and these guys, I think this speaks to their strength, which is these run back shots and understanding that that split is easily there if they leave it. And he'll run it by. Now he'll leave his own out in front, so it's their stone that would be run back. That's it, exactly. A little better situation for Jacobs now. That's, that did it again. That's just doing that. Well, yours are doing that. Mine's not going to do that that much, but mine might still curl. Talking about the different rocks. We got lots. Looks like five. Top four. Six. Okay. T line. Seven. Close. Probably play ball. Back four. Braden Muscawi. Back four. Back eight. Back eight. This is a rock Former back Canadian eight. junior Close champion. Here. Yep. Back eight. Out of Saskatchewan. Yep. Whoa. Yep. Yep. Whoa, whoa. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, the yellow. Hard, 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 hard. Now hard, trying to hard, rub hard. and roll it off behind the other corner, covering the eight. Pushed the one behind cover, but it slipped just back of the button. Yeah, I mean, they were trying to get that shooter deeper than the shot stone, so this double wasn't there. Just missed the audible on it. They kept hoping it would come down. Not a simple double here. Derek, guys, can you move up a bit, please? This way. Taking quite a bit of ice, Cheryl. This is the the out, uh, inside out that we see curls uh, yeah. quite a bit. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna whip this pretty hard, though. And it's pretty flat. Brad Jacobs and his first. Gotta go! The Brush Brothers have him. Gotta go! Gotta go, oh, gotta, oh, go. Oh, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, and there they go! Very nice. Hit your there. Shop, you hit my room, yeah. I wouldn't jump in. Like, I think there's a great chance I'm gonna burn it like that. Oh, so the uh, 
They banged their brushes a little bit. Maybe got away with something. Afraid that they might just get so close they'll uh, end up burning the stone. I guess it probably doesn't matter at that speed. Fine here, right? You saw Brian. I thought it took bump and it stayed pretty Probably could have got off that air more. Oh, yeah, I went out easy, right? Chance, chance to get a roll here. Yeah. You'll be above the T line. Get to the inside, eh? There's room, Solid. I think. Yep. Bump. With the right weight. Just bump. Whoa. Whoa. Pretty greasy Whoa. down here. Braden slid forever. Reed just came down the same nice. path that Braden yeah, came down, and that's the same path that everybody threw for the draw to the button. And that spot just gets a little bit quicker. I know it's going the other direction, but everybody practices that edge of the eight to the button, and I, I think they've worn that area down pretty nicely. Whereas this area would be a little crispy. A little bit slower over here, Fresh Pebble. The Briar winner of 2013, then uh, what a run. Just Wins normal. the trials, goes on to win the gold medal. But the last couple of years, been a little bit of a struggle for him. Haven't had the results that they have become accustomed to. Outside and... Normal, yeah. That wasn't heavy. Won't hang it on the edge. Well, that wasn't really important. There was a little discussion that with the pebble being fresh out there, it might curl. I sure. think that got into Brad's head yeah. and said he was a little safe on it. Yeah, just a little chicken. And that's smart curling, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Like, you, chances are rolling perfectly, Barry. Why take on that guard anyways? Give up a two. So. He'll be happy with the blank. B. Carruthers is final. Goes to school on everything. It's not just a throw through. It's a learning experience, and away it goes. Blank in this opener. Draw eight, Canada Cup from Brandon, Manitoba. There's one more draw to go tonight. Here are the other games on the ice this afternoon. Mark Nichols and Team Guju are already in. McEwen needs to win, needs help. Rock is done. Anderson, if she can win out, would eliminate all the teams. And we'd have three free and clear. Jones is in. Sweeting needs to keep herself alive and hope. Epping needs to win and hope. Laycock wins, he's in. So let's begin our updates with uh, a team that's really been impressive. Without their skipper, Brad Guju, still nursing some hip problems. He will return next week, he says, at the tour stop in Sault Ste. Marie. So Mark Nichols with Last Rock against Mike McEwen, Kathy. Well, you see that he faces four, and those stones just ignored by Mark on his first one went around and Mike able to remove it and that's why he lies four but this is the same shot that he just threw on his first one needs the four foot. It is remarkable what he and this team have done. Crazy. And that will stop at the back as he picks up the single. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I like pressure. <laughs> Here at the Keystone Center in Brandon, the uh, 13th edition of the Canada Cup. Of course, next year there will not be a Canada Cup. This event will be the curling trials, and that's what this is all about. Trying to uh, win a spot, get that ticket to Ottawa. We already know teams that will be there. On the men's side, just one place has been taken. That's Kevin Cooey. On the women's side, two spots. Rachel Holman, the defending Canada Cup champion. Jennifer Jones as the leading points getter last wait season. Only. Wait only. Got lots of line right now. And Rip. if you're wondering what Rip does right happen now. if... Just line. Just line. Because we know that Holman Just and... Just uh, four. 
Jones will be in the playoffs if they should win this then the spot on the women's side would go to points again over the course of the season. That's why these teams chase so hard all season because of that exact situation happening. Play at so many events to get as many points. And we are so looking forward to being in Ottawa. There's the dates, December 2 through 10. The Tim Hortons roar of the rings. There, curling.ca slash tickets. That'll be the best curling you'll ever witness yes, if you can yes, get to yes. that event. Bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. Well, and for three of the teams Whoa. here this weekend, this is a, yellow, the, basically yellow, the dress rehearsal yellow. for the trials yeah, next maybe, year at yeah, the same point. time. Well, we know that we're one of these men's teams is going to book their uh, ticket because Cooey will not make the playoffs. So we will have a, a winner and a qualifier on the men's Don't side. You, sorry, boys. A blank in the first means that Reed Carruthers once again has Last Rock playing the Yellowstones. Here in two, Shot Rock, right on the lid, belongs to Brad Jacobs. Series of very, very well placed hey, freezes here. Room, 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 easy, Pete. Whoa, wait, don't wait. kill the line. Wait, wait for line, Fry. Yep. Line's gonna be good. Let it go, Fry. Watch Brian Fry brush there, Cheryl. His left arm is kind of a chicken wing. It's bouncing around there. It'd be nice to lock that into his body and get a lot more pressure down. Not that he's not trying hard enough. He, he's a big boy, but uh, not. you watch a lot of the other teams, they lock that top arm into the body and get a little bit more downward pressure. Or you make that too. Okay. This is ideal. Sure. I'm the wrong guy to criticize a brusher, but <laughs> yeah, I was kind of. Did you see me staring at yeah, you? Yeah, I did actually. It's, it's kind of rude. <laughs> and I was not jumping in <laughs> to critique anybody sweeping. <laughs> Hopefully, Kathy's not listening. Yeah, Kathy's running to get you a brush to yep. show you what whoa, one looks whoa, like. Yep, whoa, whoa, yep, whoa, yep. Whoa. Derek Samogalski. Oh, sit, sit, sit. And it will. Shot, Derek. Nice throw, Derek. Anything thicker? Well, Kelsey Rock yeah, at 0 4, looking to pick up a win and a couple of thousand dollars, yeah. steals one against uh, <laughs> Carrie Anderson. Val Sweeting steals on Jennifer Jones, keeping trying to keep herself alive. And uh, Steve Laycock, Nutana, Saskatoon, opens with a couple against John Epping. Four. As well as that yeah, spot yeah, in the yeah. trials. Oh. The winning team gets 14,000, nine to second, five to third. And if you pick up a win in round robin, you'll win $2,000. Oh boy, and across the top. I, I believe that picked because just, Ryan threw up his hands right away just after he released it. What a huge pick this late in the end with only three uh, stones remaining. Uh, team Jacobs is gonna have to do some cleanup here. To kind of sit right there and try and make this double okay. tougher. Curl. Do that. Yep, 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 yep. Ryan yep. Fry. Never off, never off. Hard. Oh, go, Ryan, go, 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 go. And right. tickled it enough. Wait, good wait. Really nice. Thank you, brushers, on that one. It ended Same up. Way. I think it was just easy straight away. Held this just enough to catch the back oh one. One double, they need another one. Just clean, Colin. Yep, 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 yep. Shot, B. Shot. Shot, man. Shot. Nice. It's with the material, the uh, new material this year with, that they're using on the brooms. I think the fitness has come back in because you can't affect the rock as much as you could. The material doesn't help as good much roll, anymore. So now it's that downward Let's pressure read. and the fitness. And you know, the Brad Jacobs team, they talked about that being one okay. of their focus this summer was on their fitness. I think it was good out of this.
Ford. Ford. It's just Ford. He's soft way here. Ford. I'm going to watch these two yep. now. EJ yep. Harden and, and Ryan yep. hasn't touched it yet. Yep. They almost got caught banging their brushes in that first and burning a stone. And then this row of stone will roll Great over job, and sit on top. It's, it, it, you're right, Cheryl. We, I was down. Look, look at this. I mean, look at EJ here. I was standing down there trying, doing some <laughs> interviews before. This is not your father's not curling anymore. Anymore. No. Um, I like that they are in shape. Yeah, yeah. They're chiseled. They work out. It, it, it is remarkable how far it's, it's, it's come. It's incredible. Yeah. I like that. And everybody, not yeah. just one no. team. They, 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 no. you know, people like looked at Kushi being bad, fit, and then they looked at Jake as being fit. It's everybody. It's absolutely everybody, and it's nice to see. And it's a, they're, they're working at it. And uh, anybody doesn't think you uh, have to be an athlete to perform at a high level in curling is crazy. No. And you know, it's a, it's an interesting thing. That's it's, yeah. it's one of the things that EJ said to me. He said, you know, I said, Can you, what do you need it? You, he says, you understand? We just look around and we see how everybody else is improving. We have to keep up. Mm -hmm. Right. Despite the fact that we won a gold medal or we won a Canadian championship, if we want to compete, mm -hmm. we need to go to the next level because we're being pushed all the time. You are. You're, right always, you're the hunted when Just you're at the top. Whoa. You know, and the fitness Whoa. isn't for Whoa. the one game that Whoa. you play in the Whoa. day. It's for the week after week that Easy. you're playing on tour and trying not to let your body break down and for your mental focus. Too it's much, for eh? so many things out there. Oof. Just heavy. Yeah, it's heavy. Wow. That was set up with two doubles by Fry. Perfect, absolute perfect hit and roll by Jacobs. This path where all that wear is. So let's come back to what we talked about with regards to Reek Brothers. Because this is that aspect of his game that he says and this team that they have to correct. I think it's good across the Doesn't matter who you are, you have to execute. T-line's fine. But he believes his team is on the right path if they can find that consistency. Now, I know it's 10 mini games and you basically play it that way. That is what he has to overcome. Right. Those you can't allow that. That was a pretty open, easy shot. Not, I mean, not simple, but pretty easy shot that you cannot allow. And so you need to figure out what is causing that. Is it lack of focus? Chart some of that stuff. Figure it out internally why you're missing shots like that. We watched him against Laycock in his last draw, same thing. Uh, so what is it? Is it lack of focus? A little bit of room. There. Not curling. Easy. It's good. Just T-line. Easy. Not curling at all. Line's fine. Line's good. Line's good. You know, Russ, it's How's line? T-line. To line's draw good. comparisons to T say uh, right now. Uh, T -by golf right now. or tennis, it's the unforced exactly. error. Why did he win? Because I put it into the net. Why did he win? He knocked it stiff and I knocked it 10 feet away. They could yeah, look at that shot there and go, that cost us the game. No question. The game is that close today. It is. It is. Yeah. It, and it's it's when that unforced error. They, they, you look at the percentages, all these guys, every single team, male, female, they're somewhere between 80, 88 percent. They're all so close. It's when you miss. It's that 15 percent that, that you miss. You have to con You'd love to have those on your first shot, not your second shot, or you'd love to have that lead shot, not the skip shot, as in the case of uh, Reedy's miss. Bad timing on his miss. He makes it, he scores two. And now he's... He's forced. Pretty quick down here uh, this afternoon. Got a little heavy. Lots for the... Oh, not oh, bad. Oh, oh. Off here. Off. Is in a tighter pot? Not bad, Colin. Not good. bad. Never an issue here. Colin. Running like it's here. Yeah, lots. It's not too bad. Close, but it's not too bad. Good now. You're on I think we're okay. Looks, Looks a little heavy. Good. Clean it. It's Clean, guys. Shall I Nice shot, Reed. Tough one. For the single. Makes up Go, for buddy. his mistake. Forced to take one. Pretty good throw on the first, too. Just never came off. So it might be a little fresh. Final stone, whoa, trying to steps. make the double. Where? Put a lock Where? on it. Whoa, 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 Hardens whoa, called whoa, off. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Fry calling line. And yeah. he's yeah. got it. Come on! Brad Jacobs yeah. from Sault Ste. Marie. Three. They are the Canadian champions. Yeah, they are now Olympic.
He wants that feeling again. Brad Jacobs, who also took a Briar title, a world silver medal, this year with one win on the curling tour that came in Saskatoon. Brad Jacobs from the Community First Curling Center in Sault Ste. Marie. Looking to book a spot into the playoffs and possibly a, a ticket to Ottawa and next year's curling trials. <laughs> Reed Carruthers got his single in two. It means for the first time in the game, Jacobs will have last rock. He has the hammer playing the red stone. Clean. Clean. That's why they're all in the gym six, seven days a week. And playing so many events. Some of these guys are, uh, Hi, sir. The women's teams are on the road maybe 12 events a year, 14 events a year, depending on how they do in the playdowns. It just chills watching that uh, video of Brad. Do you think it's an advantage for the teams, well, the two teams that know what it's about and want it so badly, or the teams that don't? Because you want, you know how amazing it is to be at an Olympics, and you got to watch not wanting it so bad. True, and I guess you you know you'd have to think uh, Jennifer and Brad would have an advantage knowing what it's like under pressure in that big moment because they've done it. They've got that belief that they won. But you're right; it's also how nerve-wracking it'll be when they get that close because they know they really, really know what's at stake. You and I didn't know until we got there, but what we just won. Yeah, exactly. Mine's good. You didn't realize it until you won that you you were going to be an Olympian and represent your country and. And then you want it pretty badly after that when you ever get an opportunity again. Good. Three points. Throw. Throw. Yeah. Dropping in on Guju and McEwen. We know that Guju is already into the uh, playoffs. Mike McEwen needs to win out ah! to give himself at least a chance. Ah! Final stone in two. Well, it's an opportunity for two, and it I really goes that. back to a great hit and roll by Matt Wozniak, the second for the McEwen team, okay and then a missed run back following that by Charlie Thomas, and that's led to this chance for two, just needs some paint. The reigning Manitoba champion went eight and five in Ottawa last year. So, Mike. And there is the draw for a couple to take the lead. Well, Kerry Anderson, the reigning Manitoba women's champion, has a chance to uh, do it all herself today. Win two games and she's in and eliminates everyone else. Final stone, second end. Well, very similar to her first. She tried the hit and roll under on her first, nosed it. So did Kelsey Rock. And so it is open. Needs to get by the guard, though, and stick it. Oof. And does. To tie it at one. Those lines are good. Ryan Fry. Normal, normal. No, easy, easy. No. Uh, same or more. More weight. I know, it's like normal. More weight. Throw. Getting ready for Skip Stones, Wide first so by Reed Crothers. I thought it was interesting, said to me that there, this team's been together for five years. He's uh, still learning to skip, he said, and, and, and learning to be a leader, Cheryl. 
he is. And you know, that, that takes a lot of time and it's not just putting the broom down and it's not just the strategy out there. It's learning about your players and learning about their tendencies and looking down the sheet and understanding they don't feel comfortable with this shot. If you're in the rings, I'd like to clean it. No? Might be through. Might be Maybe. through. Okay. That's it. Right, cool. I think it's through. Yeah. Wow, well, he's had a case of the heavies here today. What does this tell you? Stolen ends, one as compared to seven. Well, we looked at this before and it was interesting. We saw how many stolen ends that Reed had allowed, but you look at the difference in the hammer efficiency and that actually speaks to it. Reed goes a lot more for his hammer and when you do that, you he sometimes doesn't open it up quick enough and allows those steals. Whereas we talked about Jacobs, he doesn't he doesn't let that happen. We watched that already, haven't we? They blasted away when they get into trouble, roll worked themselves out. Yep, out of yep, trouble. And out, uh, with Hammer Heat, Brad Jacobs usually has an opening and might not score as two as you just proved there with your percentages, but uh, nobody sent steals against him either. He's got that open four foot or eight foot for his last one. Two totally different styles, aren't they? And it, and it might be something for Reed to look at that, you know, seven stolen ends allowed already so far in this event. I, I, you know, I would look at that because the one thing we know that correlates to winning is the points you allow. And there's a way you can control it by not allowing that many steals. Does that speak to Reed's, I don't want to say understanding of the game, but does he just leave it? too long that I still think I can make something of it? Yeah, timing, I think, is exactly what it is. He doesn't bail. He doesn't open up maybe quick enough. Thinks he can kind of hold on to that deuce. Stay with it, Colin. Never touch it. Never touch it. To here, if you can. Colin a bit. Yeah, go Colin. Yeah, go Colin. Yeah, you're right there. You're there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. yeah. The wider the better, Derek. Yep. Shot, Reed. Good. Throw, bud. That projected time he wanted it way back there. A little tougher for uh, Brad Jacobs to hang around, and even if he does, Reed's not going to have to roll very far to get his blank. Come and get me. And he got him. Blanket one, blanket three, it remains. One nothing Carruthers. We mentioned there was only one spot taken for the trials next year in Ottawa. That's Kevin Cooey. He will not make the playoffs, so one of these teams, the remaining teams, will get the uh, position. And of course, it is in Ottawa. There's the uh, website, curling.ca slash tickets. It's one year from now to determine the teams that will represent our country in Korea. Blank in three. Carruthers continues to lead 1-0. And Team Jacobs will have the last rock. They have the hammer playing the red stones. Whoa. Colin Hudson throwing lead for Reed Carruthers out of West St. Paul. Sloppy start here, Victor. The start of the end. Uh, Ryan Harden went through his corner guard into the rings. Yeah, you can. I mean, he's gonna peel. The only Colin just hit half of it as opposed to staying. And you look at the tail of the tape here, Cheryl. Uh, Ryan Harden six percent worse than Hodgson. EJ's two below. Ryan Fry's only at eighty percent for the week, which is unusual. Minus four against uh, Muscawi. The only positive for Team Jacobs is Jacobs. He's four percent better than Carruthers when the other three guys underneath him aren't really pulling their weight and it's all about uh, Brad Jacobs so far this week. He's curled so well made. Look at the shot he made to beat uh, Mike McEwen in draw number one yep. and he's yep. Yep. single handedly kept them in here for now. Fry's numbers are coming up but he's got them at that three in one spot. Well Jennifer Jones heading for a uh, showdown tonight with Rachel Holman. Uh, playing Val Sweeting, who desperately needs the win. Sweeting opened with a, uh, a yep. steal of one in the first. Yep. This is the final stone for Jones in three. Yep. 
And you can see it is a wide open hit. That yellow stone thrown by Val trying to guard, or sorry, guard freeze on top of the red stone to limit scoring. Same as this morning, good draw weight, just no line. And there's your two for Jen. So Jones with four straight wins takes the lead going to four. Pretty hard to generate a deuce when you can't get any corner guards going. Yep, 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 gotta go for weight. Mine's good, yep, yep. go Pete. Wait, good. Go cool, Brad. Go on, boys. Go cool, Brad. Go. Go Brad. Come on, keep going. Go, 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 go. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, that works. So bad. Three of them put that on their back. Surprised we got that that far. I didn't think it was even remotely that far. Steve Laycock has a chance to lock up a playoff spot with a win against John Epping. They've traded deuces through the first two. Laycock getting ready to play his last in the third. Well, it's a tough shot. He has to go way outside to the wings, as you can see, and then get around. That top stone just thrown by John Lines Epping good. on the Lines center good. line to get yeah, to the forefoot for his single. Really nice, on his guys. first, Clean he played it. a run back, Clean. left his guard Clean. out front, but double stuffed. That's 13, why it is three that he faces. Clean it. Clean it. That's a great draw. Yeah, the reigning three-time Saskatchewan champion, Steve Laycock, out of the Nutana in Saskatoon. Line's good. Line. Remember, Steve Run. had a tough uh, Run. hit and roll out, or he could have been four and one. Whoa, 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 well, again, you know, I, I, whoa, 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 whoa. we're kicking around different ideas, and I think I said to you, Laycock, Carruthers, uh, those are the teams to me that are looking to take that next step. You know, they, they've made it so far. Now, the step to be that champion, that extra level. Uh, and it's those kind of shots that they have to Quiet. avoid. Those oh, mistakes oh, they have oh, to avoid. Exactly. Yes, yes, yes. It's always something you talk about. It's the back-to-back -back misses yes. on your own team, and it's also the shot hard after call, a miss by on. the opposition. Do you call. bear down? You, you need to not allow yep. any back-to-back, -back, no matter what it is. Shot. Eric's. Good call. Sweet. Really good soft one by Muscawi. Right, Bart. Separates the two. Brad Jacobs figured he'd jam it out of there, but he didn't. He left two in there. Now the blank becomes a lot harder. Oh, 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 oh. Go heavy. Oh, oh. I think that's been the heavy. biggest change to the game in maybe the last two years is the ability to throw yep, that yep, soft yep. and understand when to do yep, it, that yep. soft weight. Oh, no, off, 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 off. Shot, right. Not a boy. Shot. Oh, this intern with easy pretty good yeah. here. He played normal. Blank in yeah, uh, three easy that results and still McEwen leading 2-1. And there was a blank in three as Can well. Wait. As uh, Kelsey Rock, Kerry Einerson are tied at one. It's the exact same shot that easy. Reed Crothers completely flashed in, in number two. No, no, no. Yep! Yep! Easy! Whoa! Whoa! Oh. Yes! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Good shot. Very nice to avoid the jam on that stone in the back 12. Right. Rolls like it to the center line. And then just climbing a hill. And again, the perfect it, it, weight it, it, for that it. shot. Doesn't seem to be the outturn going the other direction on that spot. Curls quite a bit. It mm -hmm. seems like there's a little bit of a shelf there. Getting a little Same bit way. dished, which is standard. You get, as the week goes whoa, along, you get a little whoa, bit whoa. less yep. curl inside. Yes, well thrown. Yep. Two perfect shots by Brady. Yep, yep. Hard. Hard. Yep, yep. I got the roll. Yep. Brian says I'll take the roll over. Sure, right, beauty. And rolls it right over. Almost on top. There's less hit and rolls. Uh, they don't look that exciting. They're not taking out four rocks and going a million miles an hour. But those are precise yep. curling shots.
that almost gets you the blank now by throwing that perfect soft weight ball. Reed really can't sit too, Cheryl, I don't think. It should no. be very risky. Oh, real close, eh? Yeah. I, yeah. Didn't jump as hard as I thought it was going to. Me either. That's what I was worried about. Too yeah. far. Oh, yeah. You got to make sure you're on keep, keep a little angle, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Reed yeah. Brothers. Picks it off the face. Throw, bud. Three. If you want to copy a curling delivery, take a look at this one. Right, it'll be like control. So impressed with the square shoulders. He slides pretty high. He's got his back end nice and low. He's very, uh, very well balanced. But Rock just comes back just a little bit. Tons of leg drive if he needs it. Whoa, 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 and whoa. focused. Not heavy. Those yep. eyes Not heavy. are piercing. Yep. So readable. Whoa. It's it's kind of easy for Fry yep. to uh, call the brushing. Shot. Probably just bored, eh? In between. squishy <laughs> yeah there's not a lot of room out here as they put the the five sheets on the ice surface here at the Keystone Center and so uh, it's gonna be more inappropriate but they had the camera right on Brad Jacobs oh big whoa, 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 right on. getting up close and personal with BJ Newfeld from team McEwen <laughs> <laughs> just a little squishy out here <laughs> Sorry, at the beginning, I thought it was a little heavy at the start. Middle of the eight, in turn. Middle of, middle of not, the eight, in turn. Not much there, turn. though, either. Yeah. I'm going to find a spot yeah, they haven't played, get a good look at it. And through it goes. Three blanks in four ends. Try to get something going when we come back. We know that Brandon loves its uh, curling, but they may love their Wheat Kings more of the Western uh, Hockey League, the uh, 16 champions. Look at the team from 79, the familiar names from Prop to McCrimmon to Ray Allison. That Wheat Kings team holds the CHL record for most points, 125 in a single season, 78-79 season, and they put that on the wall, 125 points, beat that. And subsequently, the dressing room has been repainted and repainted, and they paint around that <laughs> to leave that as an inspiration for the current Wheat Kings team. And uh, the Brandon Wheat Kings, who make the Keystone Center their home, are currently on an eight-game road trip. Easy. Oh, easy. Easy, easy. Oh. Easy. Yeah, clean it. Probably looking at another yep. blank end here if it now. goes. There weren't any time issues here. I don't know why you'd ever throw it in. Your team with the scoreboard management at this point. You know, Brad Jacobs is looking at six then, have hammer in six. Yes. Well, as we enter the holiday season, a reminder that uh, the 2017 World Junior Championship begins on Boxing Day with a game between Canada and Russia. Starts at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, and it's across the TSN network.
It's interesting watching Reedy out here uh, talking about, uh, Vic brought up the point about, uh, you know, becoming a world-class skip, which takes hours, time, you know, experience. And uh, he curled with a great Jeff Stoughton, and uh, so did Mark uh, Nichols for a while. It's <laughs> kind of interesting what they've obviously picked some pointers up from Jeff. And they're both right in the mix here. It was Reed that he, he used way. to be a tuck slider too. Yeah, yeah, and he hurt his knee. Yeah. Same it's way pretty now. tough yeah. mid-career to change from a tuck to a oh, flat foot oh, and, and then have this success that's throwing a lot of rocks. So used to find in these situations where it's just so easy for the team to start looking around and you know maybe not set yourself straight in the hack just let it go you know you're, you're trying to pick up a bit of time because you you've got this easy wide open hit but i always used to say to my team you've got to hang around here you gotta don't let the other guy get some draws into his belt maybe maybe the second or the third in the opposition hasn't thrown a draw you, you just whip one down there roll out yes it doesn't really matter but uh, it does yeah yeah, you don't want to give them those free ones. Clean! Clean! No, no. I think you get so used to Clean. focusing Good. so hard for those big oh, shots yeah. that, you know, I used to ask my team to remind me on an a open draw for two, you know, this mm -hmm. is important, we need this, because you naturally focus on the really tough laser shots you have to make, but you can kind of get a little bit laid back on those ones. Just wait. That, yeah, good. Shot stone yellow? It is. Oh, so that belongs to Mike McEwen, and looks like they're going to what, they try a run back here? Yeah, it's tough. There's a bunch of guards you can't see, Vic, and it has been the McEwen team guarding both the outturn and intern side. Yep. But if he's able to pick it out, there yep. are two red ones. Yes. Mark Nichols yes. run it Come back. Oh, oh, and he just goes by. That close. Steal one, McEwen. Okay, look at how close this is. Oh, man. Got it? No. That reaction he learned from Brad. <laughs> so he has very true. So he has picked up some things yeah, from Brad. Yeah. <laughs> Should have taken our whole game off. Big shot there, though. You know, that whisker, uh, one more look at the broom, and it's uh, that three points on the scoreboard there. You, you score two, give up one. That's a big two-point lead now for uh, McEwen. I think it's the first break Mike Play. McEwen's had all week. Play. Play. Four. Yep. Play. Yep. Play. Yep. 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 Yeah, that was very normal. That was one comment Brad Jacobs made last year. They weren't happy with their year and close all the time. And he said, you know, they were playing decent, but they just didn't get breaks. And in this game, you need a few breaks, especially at this level in these top teams. So true. I thought Mike McEwen outcurled uh, Brad Jacobs, and Jacobs made the shot of the year, really. That thin soft weight double to beat Mike. And, you know, he'd lost uh, Reed Carruthers, made an incredible shot last night to beat Mike McEwen. It's just, it's just. Sometimes it's you're on the wrong side of the inch. Yep, yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I never. We talked whoa. about it before the event started. Whoa. You and I. That it's. I've never seen a men's field this competitive, this close. No. They're all good, but he used to say, "Well, he'll 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 make the playoffs. He'll make. He, he has no chance to make the playoffs. You can't say that anymore. Not this year." Look at the current world curling champion. He's tied for last. Yeah, yeah. Tough Kevin field. You wouldn't want to be betting any money in this field. One more time. That's clear. 
Away it goes. Let me just check the calendar. Is this 19? There it is. Sound feels like it's 87. It's one nothing. <laughs> Where'd the free guard zone go? <laughs> the 2016 Home Hardware Canada Cup of Curling is brought to you by Home Hardware. Homeowners helping homeowners with expert advice. see this very much anymore with the free guard zone but we have only the one point and that's uh, Reed Carruthers scoring it in the second he has the one nothing lead over uh, Brad Jacobs in a game that he must win Carruthers is with Brian Reed I know throughout the year a lot of eight end games this is a ten end game obviously patience is key in a game like this you have to just keep going one stone at a time at this point I know you don't have hammer but Got to be patient, I assume. Yeah, you know we're winning. Um, our teams uh, looked at the stats, and we're one of the teams that if we keep the game close at the fifth end break, uh, you know, with control, we normally win about 80% of our games. So this is a little tactical. I know it's a bit of a snoozer for the people at home, but we're trying to win a big game here. So many good teams, a lot of great competition. Everyone wants to make the playoffs. At this point, what is maybe the difference between making the weekend and not? Uh, well, to be honest, like we've had some games we've won by one rock, we had some games we lost by one rock. You, you definitely need to get some breaks to be the team that wins this thing because there's so many good teams. Uh, and for us, uh, you know, we got to battle through this game, have to win here. Otherwise, uh, you know, we're doing a lot of hoping. We need teams to lose. Good luck. Thanks. As you might expect with a one nothing game, the uh, numbers are pretty high. Interesting to note that Braden Muscawi, who throws the third stones for Reed Carruthers, is at 100%. The low man on the ice is his opposite number, Ryan Fry, throwing third for Brad Jacobs, just at 78%. The numbers after uh, five are brought to you by Ford of Canada, proud partner with Curling Canada for 22 years. The 2016 Home Hardware Canada Cup of Curling is brought to you by World Financial Group, helping Canadians have better financial futures. By Purex Bathroom Tissue, Purex, 90 years of pure comfort. And by Tim Hortons, official coffee of Curling Canada. Team Holman's an amazing team and we know that we're gonna have to play our very best in order to have a chance to beat them and hopefully get some breaks along the way. And with it being the last game of the round robin, it's a big game that we're gonna have to play well to win. They've been an amazing team for years and having some great games against them has been a really a lot of fun over the years and we're always excited when we get to play Jones. It'll be fun playing the last round robin against them. We always know they're going to bring a really good game and so it'll be fun to watch on TV, that's for sure. And it will be first place on the line tonight, 7.30 Eastern Time, a spot in the final between Holman and Jones. Jones already has her spot, of course. So does Holman already booked for Ottawa. Uh, again, we make mention that if either of them wins this event, then that spot from this event would go to points over the course of the season. But uh, this game tonight will be for first place. So coming in, we know that Guju is in to the uh, playoffs. Wins by Jacobs and Laycock today, and they are through. Everyone else is eliminated. Jones Homan playing for first tonight. There's that scenario for Carrie Anderson out of uh, Winnipeg. Uh, she went out tonight. If she wins out today, both her games, then she's through. And we'd have our three there. Yep. Well, it well, remains well. one nothing. Reed Carruthers, he said it. It's a little boring for people watching at home. A little more tactical. But once again here in five, it'll be a Brad Jacobs that has the last rock playing the red stones. It's really fast. Think, think 15 too. Okay. You're trying to Stop throw eight. what feels like a tight guard. Okay. A 15. Okay. Pretty good here. So let's check in on Carrie Anderson as uh, she trails 2-1 to uh, Kelsey Rock. Rock still looking for her first win. And uh, the final stone on the way. 
Well, Carrie made a great shot they on her first one to hit down. and roll behind cover to lie Mine's two. Really and when Kelsey Rock rolled Mine's out on her down. final stone, you can see that anything more than that little biter on the far right hand side would give oh, Carrie her two. Oh, and this is a big carry now oh, for oh, Kristen oh, McCush oh, and Liz Fife. Oh, out comes Selena Cates. Oh my, she pulled a string. She did. She pulled it and will settle for just the single. Unforced errors. Well, that's a tough one to swallow. You even had backing to come oh. down to. Could it be a little slower, as Kathy suggested, going in that direction in the odd end? But, uh, well, you just don't see players no, miss by that and wow. not hit the paint. Hard. Yep. 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 Sit. Whoa. Be some fireworks this and uh, that come around top by Ryan. He left the uh, Crothers Rock at the back corner there, so the blank end for Jacobs at this point is not looking feasible. So he's going to try to generate a two somehow. Got the corner guards. This has to curl. It's pretty high right Never now. Wait, curl, at the go. end, you got to go. Just over. Better. Go ahead, Brady. We can Life's get it too. Bad. Go ahead. Bad, boys. Both of you go. Without the directional <laughs> brushing <laughs> fabric, uh, <laughs> these guards, you see a lot of them under curl a hair, over curl a hair. They can't make it dance like they did last year. Brady Muscawi with the light nice licks. Okay, and we'll cover it. Pass. Good. Actually, hold on. Be, uh, I in turn tap, yeah. roll behind the corner is an option. And Brad sticks to his guns. He's, as you said, with your force efficiency, with the, the, the fact he doesn't give up steals. This is why, right here, he keeps yep. that front oh, 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 oh. to his advantage. Don't Try to get it. one of these yep, yellows. Yep, yep. Whoa, whoa. Back, Not got it. it. Shot, shot and he got away with the stuff as it spills out the side. Very nice. <laughs> and leaves his shooter out in front. Well, and it's so easy, uh, you know, you even look at that, that shot stone was a little bit, it's T-line, yeah. it would have been easy to yeah. play that kind of tap. He looked at it for a second, went away from it. Now if he gets into trouble, it's his color that's coming in. Six! Line's good! It's always yours, Colin. Line's real Pretty good! Call it, line. Line. Really Colin! Colin! Just again, call top eight! eight. Top four. Just calling. Just calling. Can over. Just calling. Six. Call call top eight. Top four. Top eight. Mike McEwen with a three-one lead over uh, Team Guju with Mark Nichols throwing lead stones. Uh, can you make anything out of this here? Yeah, you can for sure. There is a two there, but it is a little bit tricky. Mike made a really long roll with super big weight from one side of the house to corner freeze on the other. So for Mark Nichols, it's about removing the shot stone, but he can't roll very no. far because of the stone at the top of the house. And it will stop in time for the deuce. You were running out of breath there on your end. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> you got it. Yep. Yep. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Hit it. Ooh. Great break. Hard run. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yep. Hard run. Yep. A little bit of theft there. Soft. Smart oh. roll. Good sweep. Shot. They were trying to throw the down weight here to get a little flop in behind. They couldn't see a lot of it. Still, eh? Just see this often. In. They yeah. just grab that line as they're coming down yes. the center line. Talented, talented miss, though, isn't it? It's uh, <laughs> difficult for Reedy to do anything yeah, with it. The front's it, open. There's corner like guards for pack, Jacobs. Can't be heavy, oh, eh? No. I think you try and throw back line. Okay. Yeah. Pack is good with that ice, I believe, B. So like an 80? 80 regular ass? 90 will get there probably still. 80, 80. Yeah, I like 80. Are you trying to tap it, Cheryl, and stay on top? Just yeah. back line. It's a soft weight. They can't be trying to pick right it clean. Right clean, clean. It's going to curl. Whoa, whoa. Braden Muscawi. Oh, yep. No, no. Yep. Hard. 
Right, come on, come on. Gotta go. Samogolski. Colin Hodgson. Go for the nose. Come on, Gotta boys. go, come on. Come on, you got it. You got it. Go, 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 go. Right up, right up, right up, right up. Shot. Good. Good you can see it curling there. Nice, Toby. Yeah, it did. You can did see it curling. Lots, I'm watching, yeah. but it's curling. Yeah, good throw, man. Threw that pretty straight, too. Okay. Derek, uh, Whew, good sweet just bud. cooling off there, wanted me to it's say hello, curling. and he wanted to say hello to his uh, grandfather, Gigi Cooley. Uh, Mr. Cooley, we understand you're in hospital, and uh, we wanted to send you, and Derek in particular, send you his best. Board. Well, then. Well, well right now. To Cheryl's point with the stats package you threw up on the board there, oh. uh, a low stress chance here for uh, Team Jacobs. Everything's wide open. Uh, yep. Oh, oh, yep. Just over. Tried to catch it thin, oh. get the spin onto the back yellow. When I go around the other one, she gets shot if we're. Yeah, I like that, Bean. He's fighting that intern a little that bit. That one. Yeah. You set up a triple out. ever, though? You had a couple of hits that hit and rolled out, too. Yeah, you might have a triple. Under the triples there, right? Like if you get. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, basically dead bury at top yeah. eight. Brian Fry, uh, as we said, is still. struggling just at 75%. As long as you bury, bury That's some enough, well, You got to eh? bury. Yeah, open hit. Okay. Some of it. That looks good. I, I think so. I was thinking it was too much. So. Okay, I like it then. I think it's cold. Yeah. John Epping trying to keep himself remotely alive, sitting one for sure, close for two, and final stone coming up for Steve Lankoff. It is really hard to tell from this angle for sure who is in fact second that yellowstone that is arguably second thrown by steve laycock on his first pretty frustrated by going that little bit extra deep and so john epping came down for shot if they do think that it is in fact them they'll be playing to tap it back but this looks more like draw weight so Colton Flash, Dallin Myers on the carry got to get it by that stone first and they did a great job Wonderful bit of brushing by Myers and Flash One's good. to pick up the point. Six. Whoa. Whoa. Looks like a bomb. Whoa. Uh, Seven. Whoa. If it's really behind the tee, you got to be way Whoa. deep. No, we're not deep. They it's want this that. top eight to try to Maybe choke off the draw for Brad deep. Jacobs. On the tee. It's deeper. Deep go back then. Yep. Go then. Really yep. go then. <laughs> never leave it. Never leave it. Never leave it. Okay, good, okay, good. Okay, okay. Good, good. You won't be happy with that one. Yeah, really hard. And just to keep you updated, uh, Jennifer Jones picks up one in five. So they are tied 3-3 with Val Sweeting at the break. You can even show him a piece, right? Right there. Yeah, for sure. Okay, Fry. Okay, so read through that. He threw that about. He threw that was good. I think you need a hair more than that. More ice than that? Ooh. You don't? No, no, no. I'm thinking. Like he threw. They were throwing those hits here. They're not doing a whole lot. Like he threw that yes. to there. He threw that pretty good. I thought right about here. Yes. Yeah, we want it to be half open. So we want. Well, the we, same. I, we, we want to be. Yeah, fully buried. I guess. Yeah. This is the spot they talked about. They felt like it was coming up to a bit of a ledge, not finishing like we'd seen the sheets. Right. So here, as it as it starts to curl, it's 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 straightening out a little bit more than they anticipate. So that's exactly where Reed Crothers missed in the second end. So if you can probably get it in there with a draw, but can you get it out with a takeout? This is exactly how Jacobs has played the entire week. Bang those run backs back. If it doesn't work, they roll to the sides. Yes, he's drawing against three, but there's low risk. He should score this end. Well, there you go. Just look at all the room he has to get there. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he doesn't shut down. He doesn't let the forefoot get shut down on him at all. Brad Jacobs. Right, look, look. Got the weight. Good. Got the weight. We can wait. good. Yep. Line's good. Yep. Yeah. E.J. Harden on the right. Ryan on the left, closest to the stone, and the Hard Brush line. Brothers have got it's him. Good. Let it go. Got to get it by their Let own go. guard first. Oh, Hard big, right. big, big carry. No, they can't. You're going to get shot. Wow, perfect weight. Good weight. Now, you know what? Go back. I mean, this is a... Did that jump or did that jump? Yeah, I just, I just, I thought it was a hair too tight. Well, tight, but also Ryan Fry said, 
You want to put the brush out here? And the skipper said, no, I'm going to come in here. Okay. So this is coming out sideways, right? The way Brad Jacobs has been playing, probably you look at him and go, hey, let's not oh, get sure, in his way. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and if he sees this and that's the yeah, ice he wants, like, I don't think that's Fry was right. If you like that, I think that's good. Okay. They might not have gotten to that shelf yet, but it still yeah. was curling yeah. hard. Right. Hadn't quite gotten to the shelf could be a little wider. Yep, edge of eight. Toss your breath. Firm hunch. Pushes it back and through. Oh no! I'm <laughs> right a little too close to the guard. I know. I didn't want to rock on the guard yeah. either. <laughs> I I need to look at less ice. I know I'm wide, but it's good. Yeah. The air there was cross it and jam it on all those yellows, and Reed knew that, so he protected, but almost <laughs> protected too much. So missed opportunity here with last rock for Brad Jacobs as he. Uh, Plays the end the way he wants to, but will draw against three all around the back edge of the eight. Two line. Felt okay. Like, I don't think it's hurtable. Line's good. No, line's good. <laughs> Boy, hits line's down good, here, boys. Line. And now they'll let up as it coasts in for the single covering the lid. We're tied at one through six. Don't kill it. Now it's a carry. That guard again. It's a carry. Carry it down again. For the single. Final stone. Oh. Ready. Whoa! Oh, oh, on oh. its own. Get right off, off, right off. Get him, get him, get him. Yes. Yes. No, he just touched it. It's a two for sure. And Huey will pick up the Canada Cup, and he will get that first spot in the Curly Trials. He has his spot for next year in Ottawa, but it wasn't the best of uh, round robins. Still one game to play for Kevin Cooey. He'll, at the moment, he's on the bottom of the table at one and four. The only team to clinch a men's spot so far. Jennifer Jones, Rachel Holman will decide first place tonight when we join you again at 7.30 Eastern time. They are through. Carrie Anderson, of course, if she wins out, will join them. But one of the teams that makes the playoffs here with uh, Kevin Cooey eliminated. We will have another ticket to Ottawa cashed here in Brandon. 1 1, Jacobs gets his single. And so we go to the uh, seventh, and uh, Reed Carruthers will have a last rock. He has the hammer playing the Yellowstones. Jacobs threw up the center guard, and then Colin came around perfectly, and then Ryan Harnden came back 12. Yeah, trying to play the freeze on the Carruthers shot dead. stone. Colin has a chance to come down on top of his oh, own. Just wait. Top 12, Getting better. Just wait. Eight, just wait. wait. It's almost top four. Yeah, just wait. Wait. It's got a curl. Okay, Braden, go now. As long as he can. Yep, go now. Yep. Wait. Yep, go now. Hard yep, yep, yep. Hard, 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 hard. Hard, hard. You got a good one. Yep, go, yep, go, yep. go, go, go. Oh, that's straight. It's not bad. Wait. Good shot, Hodge. The difference in those rocks is that much. Really I'm good just, positioning. I think I need to, like, I don't know, I take a foot less ice and take it close to the guard. See how useless Ryan's rock is, isn't it? Not like only here? is it not helping his know. team, it's hurting him. queued up on the back. And that's exactly what he sees to now, that it would jam back yeah, there. Back. I like that. Yeah. Back eight. Back, back eight. eight. Yeah. Back eight at the most. Back eight. Try and Line sit right on multiple. top of it. I hate this situation, though. <laughs> you know, you're, you're leaving the guy with hammer. Sitting two here, or two in the rings at least. 
even if this is made. Back, back eight, back 12, back line. Right off, right? Don't even think about it. <laughs> Don't even look at it. Right off. <laughs> Walk Get away. Better. Back eight. Stay close, Pete. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. Yep, yep, go. Pete. Yep. Go. yep. Whoa. And get some separation. Still leaves uh, for others sitting the two. Pretty nice shot. What about just peel the guard? Yeah. Peel the guard. It's pretty good, it's man. Voice. Pretty good. Help me out here, Russ. Why do they uh, peel the guard? Well, they, they're, they're a little worried about that red rock that uh, DJ just threw in there that nice freeze, Whoa. so this gets it to it, and they know that uh, Team Jacobs is going to make a move on those yellow ones at some point in time. Yeah. Me. Let's say EJ uh, or Ryan Fry tap those back, then the red ones will be grouped together, and they can double them off. Well, and this is what we have said Reed hasn't done is is opened it up. Yes. Yes. So maybe learning from a few stolen ends this week. He knows Jacobs has to come to him because there's two in there now. Some point in time, if uh, let's say Ryan Fry throws up a guard eventually, you this might see way. Reed cap it off and just have two like buried. Halfway. Yeah. Easy. Keep the curl. It's there. Not bad. It's there. Where is it? Tight. Tight by itself. Okay, well, Almost in. This has to slow down. Where is it? Tight. No, no. Roll the wings. Yep. You heard Ryan Fry say we have to make a move here. That's exactly right. And that was another error by Team Jacobs. They can hit and roll in now. This gets really, really scary for Jacobs. Half rock easy. You like that ice? I do. Really like it. Nice positive throw. Whoa. Not heavy. Whoa. Whoa. Close, isn't it? No. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Yes. Whoa. Yes. 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 Hard. 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 Yellow. Whoa. Yellow. Hard. 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 hard, hard, hard. hard. Rolls it over. Steeper. Steeper. Good, and we'll hang it Great on job. the edge of the 12. Shot. There's a familiar face. Very nice prop. Three-time uh, Canadian champion. Two world titles to his Even name. Jeff Stoughton is uh, with the Curling Canada now, and he is managing and looking after the mixed doubles program. For the association, of course, mixed doubles is the uh, new discipline that has been added well, to the uh, like, Olympics. I know it is. I know it is. Uh, yeah, we found you. <laughs> Trying to make this top double. You never know. Well, that, the uh, the better. That trials will be coming up. Do you like it soft and try and Either in the late. I would think they'd probably can, hold off until... Uh, for January. You uh, January, yeah, you have to be, it have to be done in January mm -hmm. of 18 mm -hmm. prior to going to uh, Korea. There's some tremendous mixed doubles teams and uh, formulating in Canada normal. here. It's going to be exciting. Just, uh, there's been no decision on a location yet. That announcement to come. Now, Fry and Jacobs have some cleanup to do here. They're going to try the feather doubles, Cheryl. Onto the yellow uh, top four. I think so. I'll just roll soft in and move those around a little bit because oh, no. the angles are awful. No, they're yep. not good. Yep. Yep. Ryan Fry. Yep. 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 Ryan Harnett on the brush. Now cross. Oh. Just nibbles at the top of the eight. Oh, you didn't want to stagger those. No, uh -uh. I wondered if they'd take on the high side of the eight-foot redstone yellow yellow double. Well, Kelsey Rock still looking for a, a first win in a 2-2 tie with Kerry Anderson. They're tied at two. And uh, Rock is the shot Rock. That's the uh, redstone yellow just in front of the uh, T-line eight-foot, right? You are absolutely correct. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Pause for effect. <laughs> You know, on her last stone, Carrie Anderson was trying to corner freeze that buried stone and just grazed the guard and rolled into the house, but did not roll in for a shot. And so that is why it is a draw to the full eight foot for Kelsey Rock for the two. Great resume for uh, Kelsey. We know two-time Canadian junior, two-time world junior champion. She's won at the university level of the University of Alberta. 
And she makes that transition, sometimes a difficult transition to women's play. But she'll pick up two there, 4-2. Sorry. Great pressure. Perfect game for Braid Mascali, but you won't be happy with that one. Yeah, no, that. Still killing us. That no over curl. Is still killing us. Double. You want to try the double? Like, what can he do? They're talking about Ryan's shot yeah. back 12. That's it's still too. in the way. Causing them a lot of grief. Here, though, no, I know. We talk about rock positioning all the Try time. This rock right here from Ryan's that Cheryl's talking about, that's been killing them because not only it should have been up in this area that it was a usable rock, obviously, but now it's still blocking. So if they make a run at that one, the one I've circled's gone, and then this rock could end up on the scoreboard. Really, well, really unfortunate error well, at the start of the end by Ryan Hardy. You know what I mean? Even if you rolled it to here. Here, you... It's all your fault. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah then maybe we We're pointing at you. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad, I guess. That's probably the right call. Yeah. You know, I can honestly say we've never thrown control, our lead, control, our lead shots deep. <laughs> <laughs> right? Hey, good point. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. There you go. How much weight? Control. Okay. Good way! Whoa! Be there. Cool. Whoa! 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 Heavy. Heavy. No, it's good weight. Roll far. Yeah. All right. God. Here's that oak turn has it got to be a pattern, heavy? just a fraction wide. Maybe a hair. It's a three on one. Raise it here. I guess needed to out. keep it somewhere yeah. around that they could use it. Freeze, and if, as soon as we get the line, let's try and top it out. Yeah. Eh? Yeah, I think so. So have we seen anything over here in a while? Like draws? Yeah, like you throw a hack. Good, throw a hack, you're taking here. Okay, if you like a little more, I won't be heavy. Okay. Yeah. We're, yeah. I, I would like to play a freeze, but it's just a bit of a guess. We haven't seen anything over here. I'd like here. to tap it back. So yeah, I, I hear you. So if you tap it, though, chances it, are it, you Is just it crazy gonna... for Derek's call? What? Just tap the, tap the red one out. Hit what high? Perfectly, you're sitting three, and you heard the team say three on one, and what they're saying is not only is there three yellow in there against one, but Jacobs has got to make a move on this one. He could easily make the raise, but he'll probably set up a double. Reed Crothers makes the double, he scores two or three. I think the freeze is our best shot. where does he draw that I can't get to? No, I know, he can't. That's I like shot. freezing the back. No, I don't like freezing. I, I like freeze freezing the, the back is the best shot. Freeze the front, you And if I'm heavy and tap it out, it's good shot still. Well, I'm, I'm never looking at two if we do this. I don't like that. I'm having to make a double to bring those in play. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. No. Okay. But it could be for three. Oh. I like killing the back or freezing the back. If we got the line. Jennifer Jones knows that she'll uh, play Rachel Holman tonight for first place. Val Sweeting trying to keep herself alive. This is her final stone in six of a 3-3 time. Well, she had the opportunity to go around the corner guard on her first stone, over curled and went deep. And so Jennifer drew another one in there, faces two. Needs a bite of the forefoot, but has backing. Dana Ferguson, Rochelle Brown, Lori Olson Johns. Calling line. And there it is for the single to take the lead. Earlier today, they lost 7 3. Sweeting did to Holman. Sweeting throwing 63%, Olsen Johns just 56%. So do you even touch that then? Unusual for Lori. Uh, no, if you're high though, you might lit like Yeah, if we're gonna go there, then I think this is the shot. So it's either the freeze of the nose, or we play the hack. Even Braden, if you tried the freeze and it overcurled, and even you stopped like here, so it might not be the end of the world. Oh, it's good. That's great. Yeah, it's just two different shots. If, no, no, I'm just, if I draw here, yeah. it's good. That's like, what I mean. There's so many good I options. I can just draw back there, and if we freeze, we freeze And anywhere. if I'm heavy and we solid, top it out, we solid just, back line then. It's here is fine, I right? think I'm just, I think the best is dead locked. Like, if I can dead lock it, it's unreal. If it's yeah. dead locked, it doesn't the, matter that we don't tap it, right? Yeah, yeah. Because then it's queued up for double okay. jam. Okay. They're both so, great calls. I'd like tapping the red one out, a Cheryl, being a three on one, but th line, this is good too. You freeze at the top there. here. So we so uh, draw to the button? eliminate this okay. rock here. What do you want me you, to throw? 14? You've got, yeah. once you freeze in here, 
Jacobs has got to make a big decision. Does he go around everything? Does he hammer those? Really, he could probably make like both K. yellows go out, but he could lose this red one. And he'll probably still set up a double. So both those, I, I kind of like them both. And I think it's really Skip's preference. And what Reed's saying is, if we freeze to the back, I'll probably have to make a double to score multiple points. I, you know, right. Cheryl, I, listen, curling is one of those sports which allows in point from the other team. Uh, for our other members. Make sure. uh, if we're going into the foot football huddle, Whoa, nobody's saying anything. More. No. And, uh, and I'm just good. thinking that back there comes a point where you shouldn't say anything, yep. and that may have been one of those points. Yeah, I, I agree. I think Mark Reed, on, David, it was kind of Reed Mark that's got to look at what he wants to throw in his last stone, and that's when he kind of got to back off as a team, and, and he was kind of giving his information that he didn't want to have to make a double, and he liked this call. Nice job, Braden. Uh, Braden Moscowi puts it down on the corner, just a little over curl. I think that's the best you could have done. Pretty good, man. Yeah, really good. Pretty that good. might have made it better for us. Is there a run double, like his red, yellow double? I think so. I think yeah. you high side drag it a bit with speed. Yeah. Yep. They're close enough to drag a bit. And then with the power he can throw. I think it does. I think it overcurled. Take the shooter. Yeah. Right on the nose. Just be on nose. Right on the nose. Yeah. What do you? What turn you want here? That's good. A little on this side. Roll over here. Preferably, hopefully for Jacob's sake, he stays. But here. then that might drag enough like to hit it there mm -hmm. well and kill this one, kill this one, and kill the raised rock. Therefore, he could potentially, if he throws it perfect, I think he can drag enough to maybe sit too, Cheryl. It was almost perfect. The freeze over curled on him. He's bailed him out all week. How much will it drag? That's the trick, is get, get it to kick a little bit towards the hack. Skip Stones. Yep, 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 yep. In seven, Brad Jacobs. Whoa, whoa. Trying to clean up a bit of a mess. And away they go. Really good, I think. Really good, I think. Might get out of it. Well, he says maybe we can get out of it. Can you make, is there still a chance though for Crothers if he keeps them separated? Makes the uh, double here or separates the stones to still get a deuce. <laughs> oh, no, quite. There's definitely the double. The doubles, he can make it with his eye shot, but where is it going to go? Yeah, I, it's close. They might have got a little lucky here when Reedy comes down and does that. That one's gone for free. This one's yeah, going to go like either said, here try and hit it a or nose possibly or just a little high about perfect. there to try to get it. It all depends on where he makes contact. It's going to be extremely close to hitting that yellow. If it does. Jacobs managed to get out of the wiggle out of this mess. Yeah. You think, Cheryl? Just a little high side. High side is obviously the best way to make it. Dead on, I think he jams it. Yeah, I would agree. But I mean, you don't want to roll out either. Right. It's going to be extremely close to hitting that yellow one, no matter where he hits it. A little high side to try to miss it. Big Brothers. Yep, yep, yep. Hodgson. Samogalski. Good shot. Touch it. Oh. He did. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, he had to go higher yet. Looks great. As you can see where he rolled, uh, Cheryl, he could have rolled a lot farther, so he could have hit it thinner. Oh. I don't know those angles. When this red rock is hit, it spins with the intern, which means it comes out lower. And that made all the difference. Great throw. Keep it up a bit. Wow, how did yeah. Jacobs get out of another mess? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, Braden yep. got really unlucky on his freeze mm -hmm. over curling because mm -hmm. really yep. that gets to nose and yep. there's no run double. Exactly. Yep, so good. All about patience here for Crothers now. He has to, they have to be deflated. It looked like a two, maybe a three. Break it wide open, but now you say, look, I've got control of this game. I've got hammer in the eighth end, yeah, possibly okay. the 10th. Run it right through if you could. Sure, yeah, why not? Toss your read. You know who's really happy about this end? The way it turned out is Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> that back, yeah. back 12 foot stone. When you picked on him there. <laughs> I did. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Always the skips picking on the leads. <laughs> That's what they're there for. <laughs> yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yep. Looking for the blank. Good. Good end. And another one goes on the board. Looked so good until Brad Jacobs had his first. It remains a 1 1 tie. Jacobs is in with a win. Another team that we know is in at least the tiebreaker possibility is Team Guju as he plays Mike McEwen. He needs to win to keep any hope alive. Final stone on the way in six. Good. Well, Mark Nichols made a corner freeze on his final stone, so does lie too. But there is a yellow McEwen stone biting the top of the eight foot. He's trying to split it to bring two more into play. Matt Wozniak, Denny Newfeld. BJ Newfeld calling line. Split it, roll it. Going to come far enough uh, for the single. The Keystone Center, all part of uh, Westman Place. Really yep. is an enormous building here in Brandon. This uh, facility seats some 5,100. I mentioned home of the Brandon Wheat Kings. A couple of Scotties here in 93 and 2002, the 95 Worlds, but maybe most importantly, the 97 trials were here prior to the uh, Nagano Olympics of 88. And, uh, here we are for the Canada Cup, leading to next year's trials in Ottawa. As we welcome you back. Blank in seven, and it remains a 1 1 game. Very tactical. Jacobs, though, coming through with that big shot in uh, seven, his first to get himself out of trouble and uh, lead to the blank. Once again, here in eight, it will be Reed Carruthers that does have the last rock. He has the hammer playing the Yellowstone. Line's good. Room. Line's good. Room. Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it's really got a curl. Can't bounce in this line. No. Wait, it's perfect. No, where? Close. Wait, perfect. Line's okay Close. if he can finish it. Yep, 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 This level, you, you know, you say to yourself, oh, well, you've got, you've got seven more shots or six more shots to be on the team out, but not when the other team's making their six shots. And at this level, you Got miss rope. early. You, you, it's so Clean. hard. Rope. We just witnessed yep. it last time. Yep. Jacobs had yep. to be a miracle man yep. to get through that. Yep. Rope. Yep. Whoa. Frozen. Whoa. Yeah. Yep. 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 Whoa. Whoa. Just a little bump. Whoa. Yep. Whoa. 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 Wait's good. Whoa. Wait's really good. Whoa, 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 whoa. Trying to tap freeze. Oh, how good is that? Good. Well, and for Reed, it's important they, you know, had an opportunity that last one, end, but they're right? still in great shape, and they can't yeah, focus on that. The now you focus on, you know, you'd be happy yeah. with the hammer right. in the eighth end. <coughs> pretty, pretty nice, eh? Like that, yeah. Braden. That's good. That's Braden, what good. about nose into that red one? It's so entertaining it's with these teams now because they really all good. play with tons of rocks good. and play. You can tell they're very comfortable. They, they know the angles. They know what kind of weight they have to throw in these early shots. They can set it up the best way they possibly can for later in the end. Heavy. Back line. Whoa. No, not that much. Whoa. Back eight. Whoa. Yep. Back four. Back four. Weight's good. Go. Whoa. 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 Perfect whoa. weight. Whoa. 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 Good. Good, good, good. Go, 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 go. Nice. Ooh, can't curl anything more. Oh, not bad. Can't curl anything more. It's, really, it's really pretty good. They would have liked a little bit more separation with that shot stone. Either that, if I squeaked it on the nose, no, could I get rid of everything? This is pretty good. If I nose the yellow, do they all go? Think they do. Yeah, I'm thinking like normal though. Okay. They 
could all go. He's ready. Yep. EJ Harden. Yep. Whoa, whoa. 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 Yep. 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 Whoa. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. Brother Ryan. Whoa. Lots of weight, Brad. Now Ryan Fry. And not quite. He'll get rid of one. So it still leaves two yellows in. Opens it Remember up now it bit. is Carruthers that has have last Good rock. Each. Yeah. Shot each. Uh, you gotta have the shots to get yourself out of trouble, and of course this was the one that Brad Jacobs threw, and it? that changed it right around. Yep, yep, yep. And then Reed Carruthers back the other way, and just couldn't squeeze it by the stone at the back, and forced to take a blank. The key shots brought to you by Purex. It's Purex or nothing. Pretty good position here for Carruthers if Derek can nose oh, this one. A lot of yellow in there, isn't there? <laughs> and all a couple of controlling the front. Whoa! Whoa! Just half. Is it got enough? Half. Yeah, okay, we, we got, got enough. We got enough. We got enough. Curl. Stay with this yellow. Yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Gotta go, not bad, right, just okay. perfect way to push it out the back yeah. and now there are three yellows in there it's an interesting spot it's straight with the intern there and straight with the out turn you don't normally see that i thought that would come up a bit yeah that's crazy from a lot of weight right yeah because i'm looking at it like my that's that's draw ice for me like that's literally probably a foot too much with that ice i think let's go right watch the roll yep you can point out the uh, danger here for Ryan Fry if this hangs and he jams it on his own. And look at struggling in all aspects of his game. The hit game really is his strength, 71% overall. Uh -oh. And he's going to jam it and kill one of his own and their own. That kind of game for him. Oh man. You just don't see that with Ryan you Fry. Can't miss it that way. You had to miss it narrow. Would have been sitting yeah. out thin as I can, eh? Two to yeah. going to a, a real big mess. As thin as I can. Good draw here, Cheryl. Yeah, I wouldn't leave that center line guard. True. Sitting four is tempting, isn't it? <laughs> it is. <laughs> You're so greedy. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yes. Yep. I can't peel. Yes. I need a big yep. lead. Good. Yeah. Shot. Good job, Braden. Nice. Thick half. Uh, tell me what. You know that he'd love just to make up for it now. Make that cross oh. the uh, ring double if he can. Oh. Nothing yet. Wait. Not a lick. All on its own. Thick half. Wait. Just a more. Bang. Right on the snaz. Sweeting and Jones, 4-3. And it's 1-2-3-4. Mm. Sweeting Stones. Well, and for Jennifer Jones, during the same shot that she threw on the first one, although the different turn, she went through that hole. All it easy. On her first one, needs to catch it thin, get the redirect and stick. No. Just that? like that. No. You talked about it earlier, Vic, about that inside-out shot. Why don't Jennifer. more teams play it? You just saw it with Jennifer. They do it all the time. It, well played. Colin. We'll call Get it out of there. And again, it we're looking forward no, no, to know. tonight. Jones yeah, plays yeah. Rachel Holman, and that will be for the uh, spot in the final. Another unforced error. Maybe. Sorry. Tough one, man. It's too hard, eh? Yeah. No, that was like. Yeah. From a guy that's almost 100% too. Normal. Yeah. I like it. I think with sweeping, it should just be pretty true. Seems to be getting straighter. The errors, they we're not down there, but the errors are wide. Yeah. Period. Mm -hmm. Stop it. Yeah. Normal. You're right. Yeah. Stop it. Yeah. yeah. Let's go, Brad. Let's make it. Would Brad be trying to hit this and stay buried, Cheryl? Or is he trying to double? 
He's I didn't be, see the call. He has to be dangerous. It has to be careful to not to jam on that rock that's an inch out of the rings of Carruthers. He has been the uh, story for this team the entire week. Uh, Brad Jacobs, those numbers have been consistent. And uh, big shots to bail his team out. Firm. Yep, yep. I mean, he's just playing nose nose with that weight. Yeah. Yep. Hard. On, Real hard, Pete. Come on. Go. Really hard, Pete. Hard right. Hard. And he's going to lose that raised rock, leaving the shooter covering the center line. Carruthers with last rock is sitting the one back edge of the 12. Either way, I guess. This way, it's like the run, you make it the double yeah. going that way, but it's jammable. Yeah. I think this way, we know this way. I think this is one of those situations yeah. that you don't bury. It's going to be tough to make if you're Actually, touching the four half under, under, right? Half under. Yeah. Okay. You know this. It's you all bury 15. completely yeah, in right Jacob's nose, yeah, like nose, and then you're in trouble. Yeah. So yeah. just like half 15, under. Two. Yeah, I agree. Just bite the four? Yeah, full eight, bite the four. Bite the four. We don't want to be fully under, though. I want to be half under, guys. I don't want to be deep here either. Yeah, I, I agree. You can give us seven Go deep. and get it there. That means Jacobs comes right yeah, down on top. Yeah, Brad locks Just him in and takes away that guys. scoring area. Yep. It's, it's tough against a good hitting bad. team because you throw it top 12, top eight, it's such an easy run back. A team of this skill set, but you can't be deep either. So you heard them say nibble a top four. Line's good. Top oh, eight. There, lots. There. Easy, Derek. Don't want to. Oh. Don't have to. Looks close. Not bad. Oh. Six. Wait. No. Wait's good. Five. Five, six. six. Whoa, whoa. Five's good. Line's perfect. Six. Doesn't need Almost to top four. Oh. We're biting four it's for all now. Derek's if you biting have four. To. Right oh. to my broom, oh. Derek. Mimi, Mimi. It's Colin. good. Me, oh. Derek. Colin now. It's right there. A oh. little bit, Derek. And right there it is. Oh. Right, oh. right to the brush. Because now if he makes the double, it could be a throw, buddy. Perfect yeah. Really good. Yeah, really good loss in there. The only other thing is try to not yeah. run double. In a 4 4 tie, again, the scenario is this uh, Epping playing for his life. Steve Laycock can put himself in to the uh, final three Line's good. with a win. His final stone on the way. Well, it is a draw for two, but that margin is very, very small. Yeah, he made a great freeze there. on his first one facing Hard two. John Epping came on top. It is not the shot stone, so this is a draw for two, but needs white, and I think threw a little scared. One yellow. Boy, there uh, wasn't a lot of white there, was there? Five, four. Laycock leads it. Like that's, that's super thin without playing a run back. <laughs> And it almost might jam on that other one. What are you thinking? I don't know, man. I mean, you could try to run and roll them together. I like trying to run it and... You can I, don't, even, I don't know what else you have. Like, you, you just got to go run it there. soft because even if you run it soft, it might... You might roll might, over yeah. to that one yeah. and get right. in the way. I just don't want to throw somewhere it's like... It's ball game. Well, where it's a, a wide open drop or two. Like, I'd rather him yeah. have to make something. For his deuce, if he's if if he's gonna get one. You guys don't like this, eh? I just think it's for what to give him a draw for two. The other thing is you. Well, can if you're try biting here, it's, you'd have to play that soft. It's a pretty good mind. spot right there, Cheryl. Overbury it a little yep. bit. On the intern yeah. side. I just think this is. I don't know. Like, isn't it pretty? Like, it's gotta be. I don't know. Like, you gotta. You gotta be real close to this guard, and you gotta. I don't even think you have to be that close. You, we're trying to bury around his yellow, right? Yeah. To the biting back four. It's pretty good. What is throw the out turn here? If he plays at it. And he may he may be coming off that for three. Wow, well, he might jam it. Yeah, it also he might jam it back. There. Well, he's got how much does he have of that rock? He's got Almost three quarters. Yeah. I mean, I'm kind of thinking this is the shot because so the guard is so close to the you house. You threw it. You were like firm. So you got a little bit of curl. Like if, if we hit run like and roll, run and, and roll guess, them both. And I guess 
You may even curl, run it. Make it that way. You may even like there's some options. You might make the double. You might make the run, and and this may roll Whoa, to like here yeah. and get in the way. Yeah. So I like. Normal? I think I think we got to throw normal, okay. and I think it's gonna come up a bit. Okay. It's like. Three, I think it's right here quarters. with normal. Yeah. Race the you red normal? and have them both roll to the right hand normal. side of the screen, keeping it buried, yeah, right which there. is. Gonna, Crazy gonna tough. To the side of the double. Well, because that's where the roll is, right? Yeah. I think they really looked at that draw because there's been no deuces so this game, and this deuce comes up, and they feel like, like that's that? game. Right. Yes, yeah. You've still got two ends to go. Yeah. That? Uh, yeah, well, that's a great point. You take, yeah, you could take a run at the double or kill kill one of them. And the nice thing about this is. Chances mm -hmm. are, mm -hmm. Brad will make contact here, and it's most of it's a deuce, and, and that's like you say, you're still alive. Yeah, the draw was all or nothing, wasn't it? Uh, and you really had to overbury to not leave him a tap. Fair. Yep. Yep. Whoa. Yep. Jacob. Whoa. Yep. yep. Oh, oh, His oh, last. Yeah, 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 yeah. And going to touch it on the way by. No. Boy, they nearly made the double. So Carruthers <laughs> will get his chance. Big draw for Reed. Really nice that he gets to throw down the same path now. Okay. I want to bring something up here. Because you heard them say, it's all or nothing at this point. Which brings me back, so this is where we're in the eighth. So we're, we, it, it brings me back to Jacobs, who got the hammer in three, four, and five. Now, scenarios might not lead to something developing, but they played it a little bit open. They played a little cautious. Don't you now regret those early ends and yeah. not going Go a little hard. Yeah, I, I would. I, I absolutely Go would. Now, now, in fairness, I think a couple times they slid the corner guard in the rings and Mine's they didn't good. really Never get the Crothers didn't Mine's give them the opportunity, but you're you're absolutely oh, correct, Vic. You, you can't you can't Mine's score one or two back, points and uh, win these games. So take the chances when you can. Yes. Out of boy Reed. Good shots, buddy. Good end, boys. And good end indeed. Good end. Job. Job, boys. Our first multiple point end comes in the eighth, and it's a huge two for Brothers. It's the Canada Cup, and at stake, of course, is the spot in the trials, but there's also some money as well. 14,000 to the winner, nine second, five third place you win a round robin game you pick up two thousand dollars you get to go to the continental cup the world financial group continental cup in las vegas in uh, january of next year and then an all-important spot in the trials and if you shouldn't get that spot those points become so important because you know as we mentioned rachel holman or jennifer jones they're already in if they should win this event then it comes down to points and uh, you would like to be in third place to pick up the points to might get you in some other way. Watch the lights. There you go. Yep. Colin Hodgson. Good. Yeah, line's good. Try, go ahead. There. I love the comment right from the team members to keep them cool. loose because that's yep. embarrassing on all levels. They said, if you're going to do it, that's a good one to do it on. And the point being, you, you know, if it ends up, wherever it ends up, Jacobs is going to use it to his advantage because he's two down. He's desperate. He's going to use those yellow rocks. So it really wasn't a, that yep. bad an error. No. We, were we were talking yesterday. You don't see that very often, but there you go. Two corner guards going up and... Uh, Side by side, mirror image. That's the trick. That's why we don't whoa, see it whoa, as whoa. often because they're, they're respecting the hitting ability of these players. Fuck you. Jeez. Oh dear. Okay. Jesus. Wide? Two zeros. When do we like coming around here? Either Probably or. this out. What? 
Kelsey Rock, Carrie Kelsey. Anderson. Anderson with an opportunity if she wins out to get right in to the uh, the playoffs. So this is her uh, final stone and eight. Well, she was facing four on her first one, tried to play a freeze, but tapped it back far enough that Kelsey Rock was able to remove it. And so it is three stones that she faces. Play a soft weight to come down to it, more predictable than just the draw. Out of the East St. Paul Curling Club, part of the greater Winnipeg area. The defending Manitoba women's champion went seven and six a year ago, and that'll get her one. Taking advantage of those two misses. Mm -hmm. You know, those last two misses, one with Colin and one with Derek, are just the result of being a little bit tight, Make rushing things. You know, right Colin came out a little too hard. Mm -hmm. Hogline violation. Derek overthrew on his. You just got to take a second breath. Again, wide the way. Everybody's Whoa! wide all of a sudden. There's another one that's hanging. Whoa! Yellow, yellow, yellow. And we'll run it by. Spills the uh, guard away. Okay, let me just suggest to you then, if you are uh, you're wide, it tends to be an overthrow. That might be, in fact, nerves and anxiousness. No right? question, adrenaline. Absolutely, no question about it. There's a really big crowd in here today too, so they might have the ice makers might have tightened the temperature down a little bit and allow it to be a hair straighter. The ice is always different, then you have to. All four players have to be on top of that shot after shot after shot. And, there's certainly a, a pattern here so far in this game. Does not, some people may be surprised by that, Cheryl. I mean, it's not as if these players haven't been on the stage before, whether it be at a Scotty's or a Briar. Uh, why are they affected at this particular moment? Who knows? Yeah, yeah, you don't, and it doesn't go away. You can play in as many. A, a, you talk to teams that have been in finals and Scotty's finals, and you always still have those nerves, but I think the difference is you've learned along the way repetitively what to do for yourself to kind of slow yourself down take an extra breath you just know as the game gets closer and away it goes Brayden oh, Moscow and then he leaves the stone there a corner to be used he has been impressive and he, he really doesn't get has. rattled and really he seems to really keep so the team like calm out there well, Jacobs now has something to work with. If he needs to get behind, it's not his color, but it's out there. I saw a lot of in grade Mascai when Vic and I covered the Canadian Junior. He made a shot through a port and had to graze a guard, virtually go through it and not roll at all to win the Canadian Junior Championship. He made it. Line's good. Line's good. Line's good. Yep. 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 Well, even more than his shot making, he's so good with reading the house. He's really positive. Great person to have at third. Shot, right. Same throw, B. You got her, bud. Yep! 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 Oh! Yep! 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 Run it back. You know, we didn't catch it on camera, but right before he threw that shot, he took a huge breath. He kind of rolled his shoulders. He really, he knows how to set himself for the big shots. In a 4-4 tie and uh, covered laying and sitting to Jennifer Jones, final stone, Val Sweeting. Well, it really has been a mess for Val this entire end. Lori had the chance to open up the front, just got one and left to guard, and Jennifer has just continued to guard. They looked at trying to pick out one, but they've elected to go with this in-off. This is the way to score. Lori Olson johns calling line. Here it comes. Going to get it. Oh, sit, and it will. Oh, how good's that? Beauty. Playing great this afternoon. Yeah, it was a, a struggle for her and the uh, team earlier today. 63% was Val Sweeting. I thought we were getting really unlucky and it was going to go out the side door. Good sweep. Well, somebody just closed that door. <laughs> <laughs> to get the single. Yeah, it's harder. Yeah, it's harder. There. 
I think you do play that one. Like, he just knows this. If he just knows it, it's not terrible. I don't like, I don't like that guy. It's not terrible, yeah. but we got to try to get underneath this one, I think. Yeah, well, that, yeah. that gives us a good chance at gut. three. What yes. do we want, two yeah. or three? Right now we're set up for a, still for a three. So then I, this is probably the one then. Yeah, why not roll right? off the high one and be in front of the I team? I think you definitely play the roll. To get, to, huh? to get three. Let's make, let's, yeah, you go behind, you go there. He's going to have to throw the run or he'll hit that. He'll hit that. And then we can go around again. And then he'll be second, third. Well, third, fourth. Third, fourth or still. We can, or we could freeze over here. Freeze? Like, we'll have a shot. Like, I, I think, let's, let's play some shots to make it here. Okay, hold on. Play hold safe. on. Hold on. So... If we play this one, like if, if you make this one good, the, the thing that sucks is these are dead even if well, he Well, then you would it. have to make the freeze tap on yeah. yeah, so we probably want to play this one. Because that one, we, we'll have some sort of double maybe Exactly. On. Yeah. So you got to play this one to there. This one. He'll hit this. Yeah. Right? And we can freeze to that. Maybe, yeah. And then he has to make a decision. We might have a double for three. Yes. Right? Yes. OK, this one. Yeah. Scoreboard said you'd love to. Way. You'd love to here, obviously, but then you're tied without hammer, and you've got about a 20% chance of winning. So they're going to go for the three here, and, and EG's got makes a great point. I think you want to roll buried. That's the only way you're going to have a chance for three. So why not roll buried off the top one? Because if you roll buried off the top one, you're in front of the T line. But they've decided to go with the back one, and I think it's simply, Cheryl, it's an easier roll. Right. And I think it leaves him a double option too. Oh, yes. Yep. 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 <laughs> Real hard. Yep. Yep, keep going. Keep DJ going, Harden. Going. Never off. And he'll leave it sitting there. They needed to, or are hoping to roll it away into the eight foot. Ah, good throw, Schmitz. Did he leave a double? Trying to rebuild some confidence. We need to, though. Because then Brian he can make Fry. Any he free taps. Yeah, here. not ideal. Then I have to hit Don't, that. Let's nose it. Yeah. Can make, if he makes some good double and roll up, we hit that and give him two, right? The double's not there. No, I, I agree. He's going to have to probably play no. same shot. I'm thinking intern. Yeah, I like intern that. Intern and We've easy seen the in a lot. It scrolls a touch. I like that. Right there. I like it, buddy. Throw okay. good. I like that comment by Reed. You know, we give them the deuce. Nope. That's okay. Yeah. We've got a hammer coming mm -hmm. home. Yep. Yeah. They don't need to do anything no, too right. fancy. Well, because uh, yeah. Team Jacobs didn't roll there, the three's off the scoreboard. So you sit two and make Jacobs earn it. Easy way. Okay, buddy. You got her. Easy, Hodge. Reed Carruthers and the first skip stone. Yep. Yep. Got that big Whoa. deuce Whoa. in eight. Uh, 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 Take the lead. A little solid. Yep, then. Yes. Uh, go. Good. That's good. Really good. Not good. quite. Good. Doesn't quite Shot, tuck Reed. a piece That's underneath. Pretty good. It's actually pretty good. Nice shot, man. Double. Just a little uh, solid, eh? Pretty good, Reed. Yeah. What? To make the double. Yeah, the you do a little bit. Get it. Well, what if we were to just nose it then? And then they huh? can hit that one and lay two. And then we'd have a thin shot for two. The other thing is just knows this. That's what I'm thinking. He might have a, uh, like that. He might, but. He, he would have this. Yeah, super thin. Super thin. He's playing with missing it. I like that. Okay, board? Board, sure. Close to nose as possible. Yeah. Because anything over, he's got. Interesting that he can get. If that stone rolls just yeah, a little bit more underneath. Okay. Now he's able to get to the nose. He could. More ice, Fry, please. Now they and they want to get right to the no the nose on this. No roll away, or they will leave a double. Yep. Might set up an angle raise double eh, for uh, Crothers. They'll roll this to the perfect spot. Good way. Heavy board. Stay close. Whoa. Yep. EJ. EJ. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa. Oh. Yeah, I caught curl. Wow. Good. 
Getting a little surprise now and then with stones out here. Would Reed take a look at this one, Cheryl? It's dangerous. I just don't want to roll off a little so he can come off this one first. Yeah, the best is to make that double, make the double tough by going right. I think it's back to why risk it. Yep, you yeah, can't exactly. give up three. Yeah. It's the only way you'd give up three is try to that crazy shot that you just decided to make me draw. <laughs> That's right. I like to throw normal. No, like great it. point. Sit okay. two. Make him earn it. Dead nose. Millimeter inside. Say right there. Or roll far and make him make the double. I think this is a grid really yeah, good. It makes it tough for on him. him. It makes it tough. Yeah. Throw a normal. Oh, gonna roll just a touch. Like sure. Yeah. Well, we know that uh, Team Guju is into uh, yeah. some kind of playoff so spot. Here? And they yeah, are uh, leading by one, one, but that stone awesome, right? right on the lid belongs to Mike McEwen. And he's got the final stone here in eight. Well, he's got a really tough shot to try to score two. Has to get through the guards, through the stone at the top of the house, and then hope it super warps to get to the white. Pat Wozniak, nobody touching this, get through the hole, no. And that's the only stone, they're tied at five. Good. It's a pretty nice result. No, I just got to make the double here. What, what is I think it's there, though, Cheryl. Half, pro half with peel. I'm just thinking half with peel might go out. That's what I mean. Like, I think you can get away with throwing a nice a big peel. Discussion. Like, just a firm. Yeah. Quarter rocks perfect. Right there, Fry. Yeah, I like it. I'm just going to throw it nice. Okay. Obviously, the dangerous jamming Cheryl but you have to hit it right on the center line you'd, you'd probably Not miss huge. the double to jam Not so hurt. thin yeah yeah didn't quite get it where they wanted it but still really good end for Carthers just right on the center of this red rock is on the center of the center line he makes it so watch it going down he virtually has to bisect the center line at impact Final stone, trying to get two right back here and tie it. Oh boy. They backed right off. Nothing. Oh boy. And he'll kill them both, and the hands come out right away. Not even a hesitation. As Jacobs misses his last, gives up the steal of two, and it's over. And Carruthers <laughs> stays alive as he improves his record now to four and two. Make the final. 5-1, Carruthers wins it over Jacobs, ball. whose record now goes to 3-2. and two. Not the best day for the Jacobs team. Had a chance to uh, lock up the playoff spot, so we know that with the win, Carruthers is into some kind of a playoff spot. Final day, round robin. The home hardware, Canada Cup. The 2016 Home Hardware Canada Cup of Curling is brought to you by Home Hardware. Homeowners helping homeowners with expert advice. The 2016 Home Hardware Canada Cup of Curling is brought to you by Ford of Canada. Proud partner with Curling Canada for 22 years. By World Financial Group, helping Canadians have better financial futures. And by Sponge Towels Paper Towels, nothing absorbs like it. Well, it was close and calculated through the first seven. And then Reed Carruthers took advantage in eight to score two and then that missed by Brad Jacobs in nine sealed the deal five won the final that's your game story brought to you by Tim Hortons the official coffee of a uh, curling Canada. as we now make the move to the uh, 
Another big game on the men's side as uh, Mike McEwen playing for his life, coming in with the uh, three losses. As he plays Team Guju, skipped by Mark Nichols. In a 5 5 tie, they're playing the ninth. And that little tap up, not quite far enough. Shot stone still belongs to uh, Guju. And it is Team uh, Guju with Nichols skipping that does have Last Rock. They have the hammer here in nine playing the uh, Redstones. Their, their second is Brett Gallant. Yes! Right. Kathy, you've been uh, watching this, and we see All from right. the numbers, my goodness, so Mike McEwen uh, has been outstanding again. It's uh, It has been an extremely well-played game. I would say the biggest yeah. difference has been Mike being just that little bit off a couple right of times in placement of stones. But other than well, that, both teams really pushing each other. Whoever has here. last rock has had to make a very good shot. Well, you can just see 95% for a BJ Newfeld. As a uh, really right down the line, except for the lead position where Jeff Walker Team Guju is at 100%. Denny Newfeld, his opposite number is 97. Uh, in all the other positions, it is a Team uh, McEwen that is out curling Guju. But losing. Yeah, they need to find a way to at least force here. What's that? Peel, try yeah. to hit it just a little low. Yeah. Well, the high side double is the easiest double, but then that would leave the red one on the button. McEwen would freeze to it. So they're going to try to get everything here. Oh. oh. Yep. 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 Yes. Yep. And went the other way. Go, go, go. Oh, came back in. Sorry, Mike. Well, another team fighting for their uh, life is a uh, John Epping. Steve Laycock knows that a win would put him into uh, some kind of a playoff. And Epping with his last stone and eight. Well, he's got an opportunity for three here with a soft shot. Steve Laycock was trying to draw a round to have two stones in the house. And he rubbed the guard and rolled off. And so if he can get through the hole and on the angle, it is for three. And it will sit there. And after a measure, they got two. Yeah, I think that one's for sure, right, Kirk? That or run it, either or. I don't think it's a tough run because you can't you can't stuff it and and keep the guard around. Just peel. Yeah. Well, do you like giving the run a go? Not really. Really nice freeze by BJ. Worst shot. <laughs> Let's tighten it up. Yeah. Charlie was trying to make the double the other way, as I mentioned, and he threw it wide. Mark was sharp enough Whoa. to call the brushing, and they've now they got that little nibbler Whoa. over there, and that could make all the difference. Oof. Yeah. Just. Gave it Windburn on the way by. White on his first one, white on his second one. I think we're shot. <coughs> he wouldn't have got it out. Yeah, it appears the red stone is shot rock. I like that ice. Not very that much. Too much right now. It should be good. Oh. Mine's good. Room. Mine's good. Mine's really good. Over curling, if anything. Dropping in on Jones and Sweeting. And uh, Sweeting, after taking the lead, is sitting the two. Well, lots of discussion on this shot about whether you play the shot stone with softer weight and score your one that way. But they have elected to play the double. Is it the double for the single to tie or double to blank? And they get the blank out of this, do you think? Well, they can, in mm -hmm. theory, for sure. Okay. Across the top, double with POA. It'll roll out for sure. Hard. Hard! Hard! Whoa! Oh! 
Kang. And needs to roll and go quick. Yep. Uh, and we'll dig goal. in. It'll be a steal of one, Sweeting. <clears throat> Sorry. I think the same ice is pretty close. Don't you think? That's exactly where you threw that. I only have to move it. Yeah. Little tap, get shot stone here for Mike. Thanks. Wasn't, uh, don't have move much, boys. He moves this at all. I should be able to blast for one. Unless he's perfectly on the nose. Yep. Mike's got to be really careful too. If you ever queued up on the corner, Mark could have a nose hit for three. He's getting the line right, and we okay, talked about it getting get a little straighter. Little. Should be cold. Room right now. Room, guys. Room. It's good. Room. Yep. 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 Just like. His guard right. really went Whoa. at the end. Whoa. 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 Yep. Yep. Whoa. Yep. Whoa. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, a really nice right. angle. Nice shot, Mike. Really good. Thanks. Yeah, you had to stay just yeah. that center line you, side. You did, didn't you? If it crossed up at all, Mark could make that double oh, score at least one or two. Can't get them both out. Cold draw. Yeah. It is. What speed here, boys? And he's made a boatload of these. Shade more, Charlie. Needs to grab the pinhole. Put on the T line. Hey, all you. Looks there. Room. Walker. Room. No line yet. No line. Jeff Walker. Brett to land. Charlie Thomas Just calling line, line. line. Needs to cover that pin. Got to get it to the pin. And it looks like it's going to be heavy and slide on through. It's a steal of one for McEwen. Yeah, it should be at about 230. Playing for his Canada Cup life. And he has the lead. Well, here's the... Uh, Perfect little uh, gift to be under the tree. The Women of Curling Calendar for 2017. Features Scotland's Eve Muirhead on the cover. And a portion of proceeds from the sales of the Women of Curling Calendar go to the Curling Canada Foundation, a program that benefits young curlers and curling centers right across our country. On this Friday after afternoon of well, pardon me, <laughs> Hello there, <laughs> Your Highness. <laughs> On an afternoon. On this Friday afternoon. <laughs> tea, please. From the Keystone Center in Brandon. Our featured game is over as uh, Reed Carruthers wins 5-1 over Brad Jacobs. So I've turned her attention now to Brad Guju and Mike McEwen. McEwen with the steal of one in nine. And so Guju, who knows he's into uh, some kind of playoff spot. McEwen trying to keep himself alive. McEwen with the steel lead 6-5, and Guju has last rock. He has the hammer playing the red stones. That's probably the key factor here. Uh, the pressure's on the team that's winning because they have to win this game in the case of McEwen. A little bit, a little bit. Top eight. Just a great shot by Mike on his last. Mm. Can't, can't for line. Can't. One good. One good. Still needs the curl. Top pull, top eight. Pull eight. It's top eight. Not, not too far. Get in. Okay. Well judged. Said top eight early. That's right where it is. 
if we gotta. It's good. Yep. Whoa. Back four. Where? Back, back four. four. Back whoa, whoa. Back four. No. Back eight. You can't. That extra weight. They're trying to move these stones around a bit. It's running. Yep. 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 yep, 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 yep. Oh, oh, really on. nice. Boy, I'll tell you what, Jeff Walker. Half! He's been incredible. Is he still 100%? Yeah, he is. <laughs> it's been his week. Coming into the game 3% higher than any Whoa. other lead. Okay. It helps actually get that uh, red one a little off the way, away from that pocket, that coverage that uh, Nichols would like to use. Same spot's good. Every shot's so crucial. Like Jeff. if Brett throws this just over the hog line, it's they can't use it because there's so much curl. Oh, easy. You want Go at ahead, least Jeff. a two out of this. Just your broom. No. Go! We gotta make this tougher. Hard, 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 oh, gotta go, hard, gotta go, gotta go. hard. Okay, that's good. Okay. Well, John Epping leading by one, and he has a, uh, a fistful sitting right there. That's what's facing uh, Steve Lincoln. Well, Steve tried a really big weight a double on his first one to get like stuck behind time. that center guard and just graze the stones, didn't remove any, and so does need to get to the forefoot for the single. Laycock, of course, a win would put him into uh, some kind of playoff situation. Wow, wow, wow. Look out, look out, look out. And that is one, two for sure. Epping. Wondering uh, seven, where this kind of game was earlier in the round robin, trying to keep himself alive. Team McEwen Back with eight. a beauty, the Cheryl Ada, to get that enemy out rock and take away yeah, that line. little bit of a wall, a yellow wall that was there that uh, Team Grisha right, was just about to use. Go. Now they've got to move them around yeah. again. All right, you still got it. Hey, nice shot. I'm trying to create another little pocket. This is where it's a real mystery. So. You, you, you keep hanging around the center so that Nichols Easy. is focused on the center so uh, Nichols doesn't go around the corner guard. But then Easy, all of a sudden, Easy. there's so many yellow ones in there, it's tough uh, to be able to remove the red ones when they come down. So. Yeah, when is it too many yeah. and you're helping the yeah. other team? Whoa, guys. Whoa. 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 It's good. good. Yep. Yeah. BJ yeah. Newfeld. Hard. 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 Catch that roll up. Boy, they're just piling them in now. Four sitting around the four foot. Back 12. Back 12. There's going to be a lot of yellow here behind the T line. Trying to get this a touch high side. And then it'll kind of rub off that uh, shot stone, create a better wall. Charlie whoa, Thomas. Whoa. 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 Close. Close. Yep. Whoa. Yep. Yep. Yes. 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 Whoa. 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 Oh, I just that uh, little rub didn't take quite enough steam out of it. It still hangs around back 12. We tell you what, this is pretty nervy play. <laughs> we talk all the time about in behind here. They're not oh, helping you at all. That yellow one almost, almost ticked enough to stop there. Then how do you get any of the red ones out? Comes up another inch. Three quarters. Mike would love to get all five of them going here pretty well. Got to got to take away some of this wall. Never. Stay with it. Oh boy. Good. And he's going to get rid of uh, one. That might even be better. That's, that's no, good. that's way better. <laughs> yeah. 
That's perfect because that, that, that freeze opportunity is that much tougher now. This is kind of like you're freezing to a single stone now. Yes, yeah. Really good. And there's enough yeah, of them well, to take the attention away from that corner guard. Got two, pardon me. Yep. Easy. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Charlie Thomas again. Gallant tried to hold this for him. Drag it up. Good shot again. So if Mike, Mike makes this, takes Mike's out his own, yeah. happens to roll out of the eight foot. Nice Mark Nichols comes around the corner guard for shot rocks. So Mike's going to have to jam this onto his own. Hope Heel it doesn't jam nose. at the back yeah. and stay dead on the nose. No way yeah, can't the same shot. yeah, yeah. He's probably going to play a run. Or, or he freeze on the back. Uh, Actually, freeze on the back, that would be bad because it's coming onto here. Sure. Just a guess. Yeah. Bit more of a guess. Already thinking ahead. Mark Nichols, Charlie Thomas, go around the corner as Russ suggests, or maybe play a freeze to the stone at the back. Stay what? right there. Now they've got the corner. I'm in the corner now, Mark. Yeah, I'm surprised. Mm -hmm. They're talking about the freeze. Sure. I like the Cut corner out. better, Cheryl. Yeah, I do too. The freeze, I mean, with the hitting ability, it's just what so tough. I think the corner now. A little more room for I, error I around the corner. The the call. I was just saying if that one, if he knows it. Yeah, I, oh, think I, the know, freeze. I know what yeah. you're saying. Yeah, I think. I do. If you make the perfect yeah. freeze and then he comes down and taps it. Yeah. And then we got this one. Remember, they get 38 minutes of thinking time I, plus I two 90 second timeouts. Right here? Well, it looks like lots. Well, you need about the same line as that freeze, right? Yeah. Remember, we, yeah. we got to full eight foot? If yeah. Mike had stayed full eight foot, this is buried. It's not full eight foot, and Mike still shot rocks. Same speed it's here, crucial boys? that he rolled a little too far there. Not a lot of room for Mark to be shot, though, is there? There's a great look uh, at it. He's, it above the tee, obviously. has to be half in the white. Which is perfectly buried. Just threw a draw, foot heavy, but he knows the speed. Dropping in on the game between Kelsey Rock Real? and uh, Carrie Anderson. And Rock looking to win really her right first. That shot stone. Really wide right now. Just Jump budding. In. Biting the top. Right. Covered fully. Go, Belongs go, to Jeff, Anderson. Go, and this always has hard. been. Yes, we saw go, today go, go, two go, go, skips go, go, going go, go, deep on the hard. final draw. This is the home way. And does need to get right to the lid for the second point. That would be the tie. And this is the end, which uh, Mr. Dan Carey, coaching Reed Carruthers, suggests Line is straight. the slope. Oh, yes. Right, so this Indeed. is going to run a Not little bit it. faster here. It will definitely carry yeah, more. Yeah. Okay. As Dan Carey yeah. said, yeah. Yeah. Final yeah. Yeah. Boy, this yeah. looks yeah. super. Yeah. This looks good. This looks great. <laughs> well, even uh, Mark Nichols, Charlie Thomas had to. Watch that. What a shot. Mark just threw it so light because he was a foot heavy last end and they brushed it from end to end, therefore didn't give it a chance to curl. Quite a bit of room here for Mike. Yep, yep. Whoa, no, no, no. No. Clean. Clean. Clean, yeah, just clean. Shot, Mike. So Mark Nichols will uh, need a full eight-foot draw here to pick up the yeah. single and force awesome, an extra. Thanks. Oh, I'll give you a... 
This will be a little different path. Yeah. He was throwing kind of down the slide path on his first mm -hmm. one, and this might run a little bit better out in the wings, kind of coming into the slide path. More of a heads up for the sweepers as it's curling. Line's good. It's not a rocket. Full eight. Walker. Hard. Gallant. And a good drag. To the top edge of the four for the single. We're going to go one more. McEwen will have the last rock there. Rock. Anderson, they're going one more. Kelsey Rock will have Last Rock trying to win her first. Quickly want to come up on this game between Jennifer Jones and Val Sweeting. You see Sweeting is sitting the one on the pin. Final stone of the 10th and trying to get them both. Spin them away and she'll move them far enough. Shot that was you tick the guard, you give up a three. And that's it. She can't make anything come back. You can't bring it back. And so Val Sweeting will pick up the win. And she'll win it six to four. And for Val Sweeting, that keeps her alive. And uh, first loss for Jennifer Jones, falling to four and one, now three and three. That's it for Sweeting. Her round robin is done. And she'll have to wait and see what happens after tonight's final draw to see uh, if she's involved in any kind of a tiebreaker situation. And then a reminder, of course, Jones will play Rachel Holman tonight. And that will be for a spot in Sunday's final. 6-4, your final on a uh, very busy Friday afternoon. Final round robin draw. Two games are going to extra ends. One game is still on the ice playing the 10th. That's Epping against Laycock. You won't miss a thing, of course, as we welcome you back. Whoa! You can turn tick here. Who she elected to throw her? Yeah. Mark Nichols, I should say, yeah. throw this oh. guard tight. I like throwing it high oh. first because this is a little bit, you see this a lot more often, whereas the high one is a tougher tick. You don't yes. see it as often. Go, go, go. Shoot, Maddie. Shoot. Shot. It's like you're playing across the face. Yeah, well, I had to do an audible right okay. away. I, I, I was confused. Well, that's why I yelled. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good tick. They're not too concerned about the Gushu Stone being the edge of the 12 foot. Just leave some room for the skipper. Yep, yep, yep. That's okay. Now at any Yeah, yep, same shot. I just wanted to get that as far over as good shot. Good shot. Smart by nice Mike. He's trying to make sure he has a path mm. getting it over as far as possible. You know, yeah, nice like shots, you Denny Newfeld. If you try to cross it, you're getting into the. It's probably easier. I don't really know how you go about doing it. Remember last night we were chatting about. The tick shots. Good, remember, I said I couldn't time. remember. My mind has yeah, gone mush. Guys. But it was Steve Gould. Yes. That yeah. used to come across, across the, face the face of the stone and then push it back the other way. High siding it like uh, yep, yep, Team yep, McEwen yep. just did. The thrown rocks got so much action. 
So you can really concentrate on kicking the enemy rock out of the way, <laughs> and then uh, your, yours is going to roll a long way. So I, I, I kind of like coming at it that way, high side. But it's whatever you get used to. They both work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Try and hit it. Quarter. Another final for you, and Steve Laycock uh, misses an opportunity to uh, get himself into uh, the playoffs Halfway. as he drops an 8 6 decision to uh, John Epping. And so Laycock's round robin is done. He'll finish at 3 and 3. Epping is at uh, 2 and 3. Tight. Whoa. Higher the better. Pretty tight. Whoa. Just tight. Uh, oh, come down. Let it die. Let it die, Jeff. Too, let so. it die. Room out. Half. Good shot, Brett. Slash it, though, Matt. There's no harm in slashing this if the interior goes over. Yeah. Make some Whoa. noise with this Whoa. one. Once Mike knows he's got it, try to get one of those red ones on the corner. Charlie, uh, he's you know he's in a tough spot too. He's, he's trying to, in some ways, replace Brad Gushu on a team that's <laughs> so successful. Yeah, he's he's never been at this pressure yeah, cooker level, really. Juniors. Juniors. Yeah, Whoa. yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Whoa! Let it die. He's done well on the provincial men's. No, no, no. Let it stop. Let it stop. Whoa. Let it stop. Okay. Finally does stop back edge of the really four. Like so with the results we know, as we take a look at the men's table, we know that uh, Guju will be first. Reed Carruthers will be second. Brad Jacobs plays his final round robin game tonight against John Epping. You win that, Brad Jacobs, you're in. But if you lose, well, there's a scenario there. You could have two or three teams at uh, three and three. Deep and that intern come around, it might give Mike some room on his last one. I think we want to yeah, just so important to make that one good. You know, they're appealing, yeah. and then you're guarding a Room stone length. that you can't outdraw. I think you need a little more, Mark. Yes. Yeah. We always used to say, Cheryl, at an extra end, whoever's making that first come around, in this case it was Charlie, is really okay. trying to Room beat length. the other skip. Okay. Right. Exactly. So you've got to make it pretty good Mine's to uh, good. stop McEwen and make McEwen's as hard as you can. So at this point in time, Mike's Mine's got good. some room. I wouldn't mind really to good. see it curl a little, guys. A little bit of room. I like no, it to perfect. curl. Go ahead, Brett. Finish a little. Go ahead, Brett. You finish a little, yep. It. you got to finish it. Yep. Hard, hard, yep. hard, 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 hard. Yep, yep. Sticking. Your broom's sticking a little. Good shot. Exactly what I wanted on my first one. Just split a little better. Yeah, they split a little better. Oh, BJ Newfeld. Clean it. Clean it. Oh. Oh. Nah. For tough. Yeah. Cheat that side if he. What's that? Just want to get. Buried a little, or <clears throat> on the center line. Yeah. Is there something that uh, Nichols yeah, knows or sees okay. about uh, Mike McEwen? Sure. That he wants to cheat sure. it a little bit, show him a little something? Not at, not on this shot, but he will on the next one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
he'll uh, he'll decide what he does. He, you put it top eight, make Mike play a double. I throw you, uh, what I did on my first one last night. Guard the left side, make him throw an out turn. It's whatever they feel. But in this Save one, it's more. basically straight guard. Hey, lines Clean. pretty good, a little tight. Hey, no, line's good, line's good. Line's good. Go then. Wait line's on me. real good. Yep, line's yep. great. Yep, yep, keep it moving. Hard, Jeff, keep it moving. Hard. Hard, Jeff. Hard. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 gotta go, gotta go. Time out. Uh, open up the ice a little bit. Looking at the draw. You can tap this out, roll here, keep it open. You can peel a guard. Well, then I'm Or you can draw yourself and beat Mark Nichols in there by doing that. With, like, this, this will finish a lot. Like, I could throw a back line around the guard if, if he puts it here. If I can hang a piece on the four, if he draws here, I'll be able to come with the out and chip him. <laughs> and I'll just play it. The guard didn't cover like the button, so that kind of makes the difference the, in the, the problem is whether you peel it or right not. Now, he puts it here. Pretty awkward shot for me. I think so. Just yep. be because of the ice, I think, I think it's the right call. Try, like if I could stay. Because I want him yeah, to have to draw really hard. I mean, just straight to here even, right? Okay. Because if he if he freezes, you're going to see it, right? At least to the hack. It should curl. I think we're in this area. Okay. You could make a case for all of them, Cheryl. The peel is what you'd normally do, but Mark's going to go top eight, and then maybe kind of on the center line, Mike's going to have to make a double and just, stay. Just hack to win, so I really like this. It's either come around top four buried or just hit and roll open. Speed will be fine down this track. And of course, Mark Nichols to, if he can't bury perfectly, Mike can just hit and roll out. He's got the saver now. Well, and, I, and you heard Mike say just because of the ice, so I think it's the draw where mm -hmm. he would get pushed to the draw. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just saw. Kerry Anderson loses in an extra as Kelsey Rock wins her first with a 6-5 win. And now is a 2-3 and three record for Anderson, who had a chance with two wins on this final day to put herself into the final three. Clean it. Yep. yep. Real Lots hard. Week, week. Real hard. Lots of week. Whoa. 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 Close. Yep. Yep. Hard. Yep. Hard. Yep. Hard. Whoa. Hard, hard, hard. Right up and Good. rolling it away to the back edge of the four, exactly where he wanted it. Oh, so great you throw. A little bit on this side. Yeah, yeah and you see with Mark now, Full if he four. buries perfectly behind his. I think that same line. Mike still got the button. Actually, Mark, I think you want to get a piece of a button. Like, sure. Cause, oh yeah, yeah. Right? It's true. I mean, for him to get that line, though, I don't Stay think... Stay with us. Yeah, Sports right. Center will follow immediately, yeah. following our uh, coverage here in Brandon. Yeah, and just nibble the button. Nichols has to go wide here, Cheryl, and uh, 11th in. No, we want to nibble the side of the button. Is there any frost out there? Yeah, yeah. This is, like, this is probably the same line as I was playing that draw the two ends ago. So, I threw that a little hard. Slightly open on this left-hand side will uh, allow a jam possibility too. But yeah, all importantly, you have to be shot here. Hey, okay, lines on the tee. pretty good. Line's little tight. Good. Yep. Line's good. Okay, wait only. Wait Line's only. Line's great. Just top button. Top button. Wait. Line's great. Top button. Wait. Really good. Got to curl a little. No, it doesn't. Whoa, 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 whoa not whoa, whoa, Brett, whoa. not Brett. Whoa. whoa. Yep, 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 yep. Great shot, perfect. Wow. <laughs> Mark Nichols. Goodness. 
That is as good as you could do. Is it ever? Just perfect. Nice. Okay. Look good? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, a little less weight. Just, just back 12. Boy, oh boy, you're uh, trying to tap a buried stone here. It'd be tempting just to throw yeah, T line here, Cheryl. Right onto his yellow. And let the boys brush it. You only have to, you know, you don't have to move it at all, but just the more Mike throws here speed wise, the harder the shot gets. You're down the middle where it's getting a little fudgy, a little bit softer. These are tricky. His first shot seemed just to kind of start to go once it got to the line. Mm -hmm. That's when they jumped on it. Should curl, but if he's hackish, he's missed it. Mm -hmm. Just. I think you almost have to think T line out of your hand and give it to the boys. To keep himself alive. Mike McEwen, final stone in this extra of a 6 6 tie. Easy. Yep. Whoa. Yep. Hip. Heart. Yep. Heart. 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 Danny Newfeld. Big brush, big brush, got to get it by, they do. Up, tap it back, and sit nicely for two. Make the final eight six. McEwen's a winner. He goes to two and three. Guja will finish his round robin at four and two, but they are in to the final three. So Gushu, Carruthers are done. Their round robin is over. They're in. And look at what we have coming up tonight. Jacobs knows if he wins his game, he's in. Jones, Homan are in. Val Sweeting is guaranteed at least a tiebreaker. Those other teams at three, though, they've got to win to join her. Back with you at 7.30 Eastern time, and it will be the showdown for first and a spot in the final. It'll be Rachel Holman against Jennifer Jones when we join you, 7.30 Eastern on TSN 1 and 3. It's the final day of round robin play here at the Home Hardware Canada Cup from Brandon. And it's all on Canada's sports leader. TSN Sports Center is next.